Oh, hello there. Hello. Morning. Good morning again. We are uh, doing another episode next day, and we uh, we started a little late, so we're uh, we're this is our warm up. We're gonna see us uh, actually warming up while we. I didn't get <coughs> some music ready or anything. Um, uh, I forgot. Did we do the music yesterday either? No. Oh man, you know what? I'm you know what I'm waiting for though is one of the CJ original intros. I know that we that way that way we don't even have to worry about the, just like. As after that little little uh, recording thing right there, yeah. Then we we just we go into that intro and it just tells you <laughs> everything you need to know about side by side. Exactly. Um, no, I've been I've I've been I've been super uh, super busy, but it's cool because it's keeping me going. And now we're doing this, so uh, welcome everybody. Um, welcome to Side by Side Movies Podcast. Uh, we're your hosts, I'm CJ Robles, and I'm Benjamin Garrett. Sometimes I like to be formal. Sometimes I don't. Just, we're just. Uh, I mean, I can't believe I, I, I didn't have much confidence in my name. I think uh, Michael wouldn't like that. Uh, <laughs> <but> <laughs> let's see. Um, uh, whatever. I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's get started. Uh, well, today we're doing uh, um, Space Jam and Space Jam: A New Legacy. Yeah. Let's just get. Let's just get straight to it because this is how it's got to be today. <coughs> uh, Space Jam, 1996, PG, one hour, 28 minutes, animation, adventure, comedy. In a desperate attempt to win a basketball match and earn their freedom, the Looney Tunes seek the aid of retired basketball champion Michael Jordan. That sounds. Yeah. That That's sounds a totally crazy. believable concept. Like, honestly, like, I can totally get behind that happening. It makes total sense. Well, let me. Sorry, I forgot to check my mic before I got in here. Let's see. How does mine sound, actually? Sound Am I coming sound, in? Sound, I'm all right. Good. Yeah, you sound real good. You're, you're perfect. Okay. Thank so, you. Uh, we, we, yeah, so we appreciate we're, that. We're, yeah, hey. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Yeah, all my settings stayed from yesterday. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Yeah, we we uh, like I said, we're we're fly by our seats today. But there's no no hold ground. Um, director is Joe. Was that uh, Pitka or Pika? Uh, uh, Dicka. My Dicka. <laughs> ah, bears. Dicka. Who would win, a hurricane or a hurricane Dicka? Or my <laughs> hurricane <Dicka. laughs> <Hurricane, laughs> <Hurricane, laughs> Uh, Leo Ben Avenuti is the uh, one of the writers. Steve Rudnick and Timothy Harris. Uh, Mike stars Michael Jordan, Wayne Knight, and Teresa Randall. We're uh, today is this is definitely a hard V. This is a a, a versus. This isn't a side by side, and or a conjunction with. This is definitely a, a a line in the middle. These are two completely different movies. Um, Twenty five years apart. And they're supposed to be sequels. It seems like it. It almost seems like a reboot, kind of. I don't know, man. Like, because, okay, yeah, but how is it? I don't understand how it's Space Jam only by name because the first one, Aliens were coming down, so it's a Space Jam. Yeah. I'll you know, and this this one should be like AI Jam or something. I don't know. Al Algae uh, Jam. Uh, you know what, dude? I don't, I think you got it. I think <clears throat> you got it, like, right. But also, remember, there's outer space and there's also inner space, so like the inner web. I guess that would work if you go that technical geek way. But you're right. I didn't even think about that. You're right. The space comes to you. So there's the space and here's the jam. Mm -hmm. like, did they make any, like, I need to see if they made any, like, actual jam out of this. But uh, Space Jam, A New Legacy 2021, yep. PG, one hour and 55 minutes. That's a big, that's a big difference you're going to feel already. Yeah. Animation, adventure, comedy. A rogue artificial intelligence kidnaps the son of uh, famed basketball player LeBron James, who then has to work with Bugs Bunny to win a basketball game. That is not what I saw. <laughs> it was like Leo Ben uh, or oh, same thing, the same characters. Um, but who's the writer again? They had a lot, I think. Maybe uh, LeBron. Writer. Maybe uh, director Malcolm D. Lee. Um, yeah, they added. Let's see, story by. There's a lot of screenplays in there. Yeah, one, two. This feels like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven writers. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that that I feels like seven writers were on this. Malcolm D. Lee. What else has has he done? He's done Girls Trip, The Best Man Holiday, Undercover Brother, The Best Man. All right, so I've seen Undercover Brother, and I've seen The Best Man. Yeah. I've not seen The Best Man Holiday, and I've not seen Girls Trip. I have. Girls Trip is pretty good. Let's see. On IMDb, it's a 6-2, so that's actually not a bad score for IMDb. Uh, we'll have to, uh, maybe we'll see it on the Rotten, but uh, I know uh, Undercover Brother is like, hilarious. That movie's that <laughs> that funny. I like that movie a lot. Um, but it's also a Griffin. But, um, yeah, so let's start off with... Well, this one has LeBron James, Don Cheadle, and Cedric Joe, uh, another CJ. Um, let's let's start off with. 
I don't know. I want to ask you more questions because I'm supposed to be the expert in this because I'm the kid that grew up with the '90s basketball. Yeah, uh, actually, that's that's why I was like, you're gonna have it all today, man. You're gonna uh, be carrying it. I'm actually thinking I want to go like from your <coughs> perspective because I I don't even have to like when I I lit like I, I watched Space Jam's The New Legacy first, and then I watched Space Jam right after it, like back mm-hmm. to back, and like I was like, oh yeah, like just just from a movie standpoint, I'm just making a movie, not. Making a movie about a basketball player, not making a movie about um, cartoons, just making a movie like Space Jam by far blows the Le- New Legacy out the water. Yeah. I'm not even talking about the yeah. nostalgia factor. I, I'm not even going to get started with that. I, I'm just going to say just by movie and just the opening credits, the way the movies start, like it's completely like in its element. It's comfortable with itself. This movie's a, a beautiful, almost like a close to like a documentary for the way that they show the the quick little beats of michael jordan like uh, going through all his progressions i mean he's he's he's, he's michael um michael j jordan not michael a like that, i got then they go the michael b jordan part in legacy yeah. like, i thought that was a little clever but uh but I, then he goes you got michael a not my, we want michael a not michael b and i was like no people that know about michael jordan it's michael jeffrey jordan it's the middle name yeah. um like I said in the very first, uh, one of the first um, episodes, we had talked about. Like I said, basketball. I said I don't. You don't even compare Michael Jordan. Just put him on the top part, and mm-hmm. then just talk about you know under him. And you, but you don't even have to. He's already he's already proved it. And it kind of I feel like the same thing for like Wayne Gretzky. Do you remember, do you remember that? Sh- did you ever see that show that was I think it was called All Stars? I gotta look it up real quick. But it had like uh, Bo Jackson, Michael. It was, a, it was an animation show. Wayne Gretzky. Mm-hmm. It had, um, it had. Uh, who else did it have on it? Let me look it up real quick. But it was a, it was, a, it, was a, it was a cartoon, based off the the basketball by based off um, athletes, and it was it was a pretty cool little um, little cool show. I can't believe I, I didn't think about that till now. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely the uh, the guy that's supposed to know more about this. Though I, this is what, yeah, here we go. What is this? Pro Stars. That's what this. It's 1991. There we go. I should have this ready. I'll probably see if I can get this ready real quick. Get uploaded. But yeah, it was an, it was a cool little uh, show. Um, actually, I don't even know if they did the uh, if they did the voices. I just know that those were the characters based off of. Them. Let's see. No, I don't think it's I don't think it's Michael Jordan's voice. So this is already like his. This is 1991. Mm-hmm. This is yeah. No, this isn't. This this isn't their voice. So this is just their their likeness. Their their like their looking their likeliness, and um, so basically, like. This is where we start seeing the athletes start coming into movies. Um, when when this movie came out in 1996, it was it was the f- one of the first movies. It was the first movie I saw at the new cinema complex. So we went from like the cinema three to the mm-hmm. cinema eight, and that whole time they did the renovation. Um, we did we didn't go to the movies. We went to like Uvalde or we went to Eagle Pass. We went to like a, a, a city like close to your city to go watch a movie, and. Um, that's when I, I think I mentioned that story that I watched the Eraser and Independence Day on the same time because my dad. Mm-hmm. That was like that was that yeah. in that time. But um, when the movie theater came back, it was uh, we we saw I did a, I did a double feature that night because at six o'clock we went to go watch. Uh, it was like the um, premiere showing, like I guess the Who's or the Who's or whatever. I don't know how I got invited, but it was a it was like a pre thing. Like uh, it wasn't like the official. It was like a soft opening basically. Mm-hmm. And you get to go you got to go get the ex- movie experience, and I thought that was awesome. But we went to go watch Space Jam. And I am that kid. I was that kid that would stay and watch the movie. I remember my friends always laughing at me when I was what, like we watching it. They'd laugh. I'd be like, I don't care. I'm here for I'm here for this. Like I got to see you guys before this and after this. But right now I'm here for this. So we're watching Space Jam, and we walked out, and then it was um, High School High. It was, was out at the same time, mm-hmm. and we just snuck right back. I don't even snuck back. We just walked in because it was like open. So we walked in to watch High School High. So we watched Space Jam and High School High on the same night. And uh, but I, just, I remember I remember Space Jam. I d- honestly. I'm, I liked it more as an adult <laughs> than I did as a kid because I got a little bit more of the references. There's not a whole lot of adult references uh, refer- references in this, but just everything from the way you introduce the story, the the Danny DeVito villain is a great villain too. And he's not even like, um, he's not a big integral part in this. Like he's, he doesn't, I mean, he's, the, he's the, the antagonist, but he's only in it so little, but he, you see what he does, like his actions. It's more of the little, the little um, what are they, the aliens, the little, Whatever I forget what they're called, the little bit the bad ones that take all the powers. They uh, it's more about them, but um, but they're doing what he's telling them. And even at yeah. the end, and even at the end when they um, they turn they when they turn on him, they say he's bigger, used to be bigger than us. Oh, and then they you know beat him up. It's because their mind is still fragile, and that's why they were still going with it. 
But uh, this movie has like lessons learned. This is great. Um, I, I I don't know if you wanted. To, I, I wanted to do like just like Space Jam and then Space Jam Legacy and then kind of combine them at the end because yeah. there's there's a lot of there's a big difference of a lot of these things. First of all, this is a Looney Tunes movie, and you get Looney Tunes in this movie. Mm -hmm. They come out. You get you actually Bugs Bunny and Daffy. You get a lot of them. They're 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 in there. You, you get the slapstick thing. Michael Jordan goes into the jokes. They take jabs at Michael Jordan. And he just goes with it. Like it does, it's not like a, it's a, well, I mean, there's going to be a few things we're going to compare a lot, a lot to, but there's going to be a few things that are going to stick out. Like Michael Jordan's acting. What did you think? I mean, he's a basketball player. I mean, I don't, I don't expect a lot of like, I didn't expect an Academy Award winning performance out of Michael Jordan, you know, yeah. uh, nor, nor LeBron James, oh, God. but okay. Let's just, I'm just, I'm just thinking like, but this, this, is, this, this, this he, over. <laughs> yeah okay but the the thing that got me it was at the end of legacy whenever he put on like his joker smiley face like yeah like you're gonna be loony lebron come on now dude the just... is, it's like legacy is like if it feels like it's just showing you how cool lebron is yeah it's, it's not a movie it's not it's not it's it's some kind of um it's a mockery of basketball i don't even see any basketball and then space jam you get a lot of basketball Yep. You get a lot of basketball. <coughs> and it kind of goes straight to the game. Like it's like um like how yeah. it's a basketball game. The other stuff is just a whole bunch of loops. Um I started off with my uh, my scores but when I, before I, I started with uh, the movie you know, before I watched the movies and the score that I picked for Legacy it was it was kind of weird cuz I was like I want to go for it cuz I don't want to be down but I'm already setting the bar real low. And I don't, I don't know. I was thinking about should I let you know what my score is now, or should I just kind of because I, because I, it, it was a progress. It was kind of like. Nah, I feel uh, like it'll, it'll slowly come out, all right, and cool. we'll just so, reveal it at the end, and everybody should know what your score is. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So that score I had um, when I started watching it, um, it, it was just kind of like this is not a movie. This is this is it, it's like I don't understand what the what the writing what their what, what scripts are. I mean, there are seven people. It's just all this attitude in the movie. A new legacy is just a bunch of attitude. And, and yeah. I, th I mean, like even like the 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 way they um, they introduce the characters, like the monster characters, like you have personalities here. Um, it shows me that the game of basketball is like like style points, really. Like they completely just made fun of basketball. They changed it. They made this video game thing. His his son is supposed to be some kind of genius, but there's he's LeBron James kid, and I it's just it says it's, he's an influencer, and I don't I don't really know if I like influencers. Where right, LeBron. Yeah, he's a huge influencer. He was like a poster child, you know. Um, yeah. He's been a millionaire since he was 18, even before playing basketball. So I don't, I, I don't know. Are, have you ever had a Nike contract at, when you were 18, 21? You know, do you? No. Nah, dude, this guy, this guy has been been pretty, uh, pretty rich. Like you know, we're the same age. So um, I'm actually older than him by like eight months. So it's like if I'm 37, so that means that when he got a million at 18, so he's he's been about the same time he's been, you know, from zero to 18. From 18 to freaking 36, he's uh, he's been had more money, you know. Yeah. So it's kind of weird the way it is, but the way they've changed the, the way of the the way the basketball works. Um, I didn't know how to take. That's why I think it'd be a little bit. I was trying to say like I might be a little bit all over the place with this because at first I was more clear cut, cut, like headed about this, but now I'm like I might take things personal and I'm not trying to do. I'm trying to get my emotion out the way, but it's just like I'm watching Space Jam and it, I, I'm like, there's like integrity. There's like it's like the the the, the jokes are they're there real, real real subtle. I mean you have Bill Murray in it like you th th there's no character attachment in uh, in the legacy. Bill Murray, yeah. Wayne Knight, a repeat offender as well. Mm -hmm. and you get you get you get. Uh, this is our first time with Bill Murray too, so I was like we might even let's see where this goes after this. Right. But um but with um with like, repeat offender Michael B Jordan as well. Michael B Jordan too. See so that's what I want to talk about when you when you compare when we did Rocky and Creed. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of similarities, and I yeah. know not the fact that they're in the same universe, but the fact that there is a lot of similarities. And in, in this one, it's just a title. I feel. I, I mean, the, when you said the goofy face, that's where I think they're trying to say, like, "Hey, look, I'm LeBron James. I do this." Like, like his personality in real life is not the same in that movie, and they're trying to like emulate him as being like some. I don't know. He, I mean, he when he got, he got he got drafted in 2003. He was the number one draft pick. He um, he at the time. He was something different, something we hadn't seen before, um, because he's what six foot eight, two hundred and forty pounds, something like that. Like he's a uh, and he's he can dribble, he can dribble the ball, he can play the post, he can shoot threes, he can steal the ball. It's like he's something that's not. He's 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 the the second uh, rise of a Lamar Odom. 
Lamar Odom was supposed to be this um, cross player because bef before they had the positions, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. And now those positions are kind of blurred line because players like, um, you know, uh, Jalen Rose, uh, uh, a 6'7 left-handed point guard. They didn't, they didn't want that. They want the point guard to be small. You see it in the, in the size differences with the Monstars, with Muggsy Bogues, Muggsy Bogues mm -hmm. all the way to Sean Bradley. You have to, like, I think I believe at the time he's the shortest NBA player to the tallest NBA player. So you're looking about five foot three, which – it's amazing. I don't know if we're going to have those players again in the NBA. The the five, the under six footers. I don't. I don't. I doubt we're going to have those. Um, but like, what I want to say, I, I had this conversation in my head where it's like, the the whole thing about the, the they go like, the story for the Space Jams. They go and get um, Michael Jordan. This yeah. one, the the legacy is like more like LeBron James. They're going after him, like for I mean, they go after him, but it's like um, the Don Cheadle, the AG, 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 LG. It's an emotional AI, really. The horror. I mean, if you compare him to the Danny DeVito alien, like that, that Danny DeVito alien for the small clips, they then beat him because the Don Cheadle, and that's a great actor. It's a great actor, and I just feel like it went to waste because he's um, it's like an emotional the whole time. <laughs> it's like yeah, well. And another thing, too, is, like, the Looney Tunes grabbed Michael Jordan. Like, LeBron just happened to come to the tune world. Yeah. You know? And that's, you know, the whole the whole getting the team back together kind of thing was, it was cool. I liked going to the different movies and, like, you had the Mad Max and everything like that. That was, that was fun. You know, you include the internet when you have Ralph breaks the internet and stuff like that where you're having all these marketing things going on <laughs> You could really sell your product. It even uh, was I saw I saw a meme that LeBron like wrote all these names down. It's like those aren't Warner Brothers characters, LeBron. You know, oh, and I yeah. thought I thought that was going to be in the movie, uh, but he was like, I got to get the best Warner Brothers characters whenever he's writing <laughs> writing that stuff down. So, um, you know, there were there were definitely fun parts about Space Jam: New Legacy. Um, but it just doesn't have the same kind of feel. Like, I don't know whether, like you said, it's nostalgia or what, but Space Jam just is, as irreverent as it is, it's cohesive. Like, it, it, it all kind of goes together. I mean, in in a new legacy, like, LeBron's wife is freaking out because she doesn't hear from him, and Jordan's wife's like, oh, I didn't even know he was gone. You know, that, that cracked me up at the end. Of the day, <laughs> when they're like, where's your dad at? And then, because like I know a lot about Michael Jordan, and um, he goes, where's your dad at? And he's like, he's got another game. And she goes, another game? Wait, you know your dad's a a, a freaking gambler. You can't be like, <laughs> you can't be gambling on the side. Because I don't. How much do you know about Michael Jordan? I mean, very little. And that's the thing too is like I'm I'm going into these both of these movies like okay, these guys are good guys. Uh, there's I do know a little bit about Michael Jordan. But not not too terribly much. Yeah. Explain to me. Oh, the madness of Michael J. Jordan. Um, man, he's uh, he's different, uh, as in like an icon. He's it, it's weird because he's not really a human, <laughs> you know. Like he's six six at that. He's like a towering a guy, and you see him on court, you look small on TV, but you, there are seven footers out there. Um, one thing uh, that he's done is like he he's hit all the like the you know most points the most defensive scores like he's hit the, the, all the alkalides he's got them all, and and this movie you get a little bit of him and I like that it is tied into like real life it is tied into like um, the the our, our actual timeline where it is his retirement he went to go play baseball his dad did get shot he, there's one thing about Michael Jordan is I I've, I've picked up over the years is his, he had a really good support system from his father who always believed in him and and, and built him up to his coach right after that like what a coach he, he met after that and then like so on like everybody he's had has a, has a big a, a big here's the word influence on him yeah. but um but it's like it the way i see it is that um he is he but it's, it's like it's the way he perceives it um good or bad he takes it he tr he turns it into something else he's a winner i'm i'm actually convinced and this is just my thing no one's i've never heard this mm -hmm. I, I, i'm just thinking because i'm like i think he's actual an, an addict but because he likes to win so much, he, he's a gambler, dude. The guy likes to likes to gamble. Doesn't um, he likes to? If you, if you get a chance, watch the Last Dance on Netflix, the, mm -hmm. the Chicago Bulls documentary. That's beautiful. I love it. Uh, Jim Rome, um, but uh, the Jim Rome is a, a sports analyst. They put him in the movies. Like now, I, I understand who they are. They're they're actually people that were on ESPN and stuff, or on on the sports channels. 
but um but like he's a he's a gambler man he loves gambling so that's why i was like yeah when his wife said that or his son and his wife had that conversation i was like oh but um even like they have the certain similarities but but michael jordan is definitely a winner i think i think he's addicted to winning or he's addicted to money or business or something where he just knew like i need to do this but he's he's a he's a shit talker. He he pushes people. You know, there's always these uh, players that were on the Bulls that he would pick on, and it's like I guess he's making them better. But at the same time, uh, getting to know, just to getting to know him through the you know the media is mm-hmm. like um, Michael Jordan is uh, he'll he'll take credit for making you better and be like, hey, you you got I made you so you you played against me and you got better, so now you owe me. So pay me and stuff like that. Like but Jesus, you know, it's, it's it's just like jokes like that. There's a there's a there's a joke. Uh, that's my opinion. I don't know if that's a story, but um. Like there is a thing where they had a, there's like a bunch of I- interviews and stuff, and as they got older, they started to open up more. And there was um, Michael Jordan. There's a there they showed up to Chicago, and I think they were playing Phoenix. I think it was like a, I think it was a finals game or or something like that. And then they go, uh, "Who's guarding me?" And they said, "Here comes Michael and his and his Porsche smoking a cigar." And he goes, "You guarding me?" And he goes, "No, you ain't guarding me. You guarding me?" No. And he goes like the starting five, like the guys on the other team. Who's guarding me? You can't guard me tonight. How many you want? You want 44? You want 46? I think he put like fifty four points on the guy, like, you know. But it's it's not just the the fact how you like you put the points; it's how you get there, and also the fact that uh, the game has changed a lot. I have a lot going through my head. Like, I just don't. I can't. I can't. Like, it's not even. Like, I tried the nostalgia. The nostalgia doesn't even affect me in this movie a lot at all because I I see what it's trying to be, and I compare it to the other one, the new legacy, and I'm like, I I see what you're wanting to be. I see what you're trying to f- like tell me. But let me see it. Let me let me let me see a good movie. And it's just it's all over the place. The the wives, they're, you know, they're both wives and family are in there. Um, it does get a little bit of LeBron's acting is really bad. Even his voice acting is bad. Um, I'm not trying. To, I'm not a LeBron hater. If you if you have been seeing memes about or just people posting about the movie, like people of our age, and and I'm like, if you have to like defend the movie by writing a meme or doing something, then it's not a good movie. Just let the movie do its its own thing. Um, it, man, I should be watching in the background because I, I can't really like I'm I have Space Jam's playing right now. I call it Space Jumps, but um, but there's like I just want to share this. Like I, I still play hoops, but like when I when, when I got my uh, my mom gave me that time capsule, I have here Alan Houston when he was on the uh, I think this is the '96 team, uh, the the um, Olympic team. So I got that one, and then Isaiah Thomas from when he was in college. You see the in the when Don Cheadle throws the chair when he's wearing the red sweater he throws the chair he's Bob Knight Bob Knight yeah. is known for throwing that and that's when uh, Isaiah Thomas here we go so here are my other so this is th- those were when I was a child but as of 2014 um, I was in the I play in the AGBL the Austin Gay Basketball League you don't have to be gay to play in the, the league but it's the Austin Gay Basketball League Summer Competitive Division Spirit Award I got two of these and just to actually hold my credit uh i got a summer 2015 mvp in the lower division <laughs> so it's like the, <laughs> the, in the jv version but i got it uh but i like i still like playing man it's fun I, it's a what i what i'm seeing like it's like it's an exercise you know for me nowadays but it's something i've been doing since i was a kid i went to basketball camps when i was a child you know from like third grade to sixth grade ish seventh i can't remember but uh, i remember winning the mvp there on my final one before i went to like high school and I, I, I love the I love doing all that. I love learning. I like uh, I like just playing the game. Um, I, I think when I was younger, I, I thought you had to go through the plays all the time. Everything had to be like boom, 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 boom. But it doesn't really have to be like that. It can be everywhere. There's a thing they call ISO basketball, which is isolation basketball. And it's like what we do nowadays. You do it with Michael Jordan because you'd have to have one player that could probably score on four people or when you need a bucket, you do an ISO play. It was just a play. Now NBA, to me, it looks like street basketball. And I don't really like – like street ball's cool when you can do like the moves and you're allowed to do like the art part of it, but it doesn't allow the rules to um, to actually w- work with the game. The game has rules and you got to apply by the rules. Like the step back, I'm saying it now, and you can hate me. Everybody can hate me for saying this, but the step back is a travel. That move, that deletion move that Bugs Bunny does at the end, which I totally did not, I did not like. That that why Bugs all of a sudden he hasn't even been part of the movie. And all of a sudden, he takes the the shot, so he can like, you need the, they delete him. Like, oh, it just does it. I, to me, it's like they say, it's like we don't need Bugs Bunny anymore. Get rid of him. And they brought him back. I, I, th- I thought I thought he was. I was like, oh man, the Looney Tunes gonna move forward without Bugs. Like that would be. Whoa. That that to me, and that's why I'm saying like that that move, that step back, that's a travel. Like James Harden does it, like crazy, and I think it's a travel. But he also makes the shot, and that's kind of hard. 
like he has to uh he still makes a lot of the shots but th- i mean that's like a huge like you're like jump stepping and then j- hopping and then landing uh, four feet away from the person guarding you it's weird i, don't, I i'm trying to have to ex- I actually should show you what a, s- uh, a step back is um real quick um as i'm playing the movie we have a repeat offender in dan castanero yeah I, yeah dan dan castanella yeah he's a uh, homer he's in the he's in this movie yeah. and and also i don't think um what's the actress in the what is his wife in the movie um uh, she, patricia uh, heaton what, what is she from is she from uh everybody loves raymond yeah she, here you go everybody loves raymond i was like i know so that's so we got no, that's kind of that's kind of a cool um a cool what do you call it uh a little, little cameo cameo there um but the, I think I mean just from the the plot, the way the the aliens even like there's like two there's like two or three sub stories in Space Jam. It's not just Michael Jordan the whole time. Yeah. Um, I think the way I was also very confused when I was younger when like when the hell did he make this movie? Didn't he just win another championship? <laughs> like <laughs> when did he when did he have time? And I I think what they did is they made him like a dome or a bubble, and mm-hmm. he just played in there and then and then he would um he would uh that's why he, that's why he practiced and then they would i think maybe i'm sorry as i'm watching the movie i think maybe that's where the the court was where they shot was actual like the the bubble so you can you know make a green screen or whatnot and you could have like more um i guess more animation in there well yeah i mean because you you haven't had like a movie like this since who framed roger rabbit you know where you have some uh a person interacting with cartoon characters that much you know um so I think that that's, uh, I mean, for that aspect, Michael Jordan did a very good job of like acting with nobody there. Yeah. I got to give him that, you know? Uh, I feel like with uh, New Legacy, that it's probably, LeBron probably had somebody like standing in. I feel, I feel like they could, <laughs> they could do that nowadays, especially with the way that they, they animated uh, Bugs Bunny and all that. Like surely they had to use some kind of um, dots and stuff like you know what I'm talking about the yeah, ah, yeah, shit. Yeah. What, I can't think of what it's called. Um, the motion tracking. Motion tracking. Thank you. Um, but yeah, man. And then LeBron's also animated at a good chunk of this movie. Oh yeah. Like, I I think that's that's kind of crazy. Why do you, why do you, why do you uh, what do you think about that? Because I did notice that I was like, so is it going to be animated or not? Well, my my thought is, you know, like he goes he goes to Toon World, he's animated. He goes to the Harry Potter world, he turns into Hufflepuff, you know, stuff like that. So maybe that's where it, I think that's that's the reason behind it. Because every time they go to a new place, he changes into that person, yeah. or that that kind of character. So that's that's, that's why right, he's the Mad Max. So Mad I will Max, say. Yeah. I will say that um, okay, so my my low score that I was started off with, when it did hit that, uh, it hit me good in the hit me right in the good in the fields with the um, when they do all the the montage of getting everybody, um, mm-hmm. you know they did the act, but they actually used footage from the actual um, movie. You know, I was like, oh, that's cool, the Matrix. Yeah, uh, yeah, the Matrix one, it was really nice. Um, and then just dude, the Mad Max one, like I said, that one probably had to be my favorite. It was like, <laughs> witness me. And they were like, "Witness!" <laughs> and so I, I thought that was pretty great. That 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 brought me up a lot. Like I that got like four points right there. That whole like montage scene. I was like, "All right, they're going in a good direction here. Great. This is going to be this is this is fixing itself because it's really hard to understand how do you get basketball and Looney Tunes to meet to match, you know, to mix. And I feel like in this movie, a new legacy, they just kind of you should already know. Like we we'll put them in there, but in uh, Space Jam, it's like they thought it out there, there's thought into it they're like we're gonna figure this out and uh it's just kind of this is kind of um i was thinking when i was writing my the 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 space jam versus space jam new, new legacy i was like space james i was like it's really easy to just add the es to yeah right because it just feel like lebron james it's all about him and it's, well that's yeah and that's that's another thing too is like yeah they they gave a lot of credit to michael jordan but man it's like they're calling him King and everything like King James and all that in this movie. It's just like, it, it feels like it's a little bit overdone, a little bit too much. Uh, but that could just be me. And I could just be uh, partial to Space Jam. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm actually, I think I'm watching it at the, I, I started playing um, Space Jam and Unigalus, Unigalus, eh, Legacy on my phone. 
Yeah. And I think I'm watching it to say, are you at that duck season, rabbit season at part? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just past it. Yeah, I'm, right, I'm watching it with you at the same time now. So we're watching it together. And that's the two hour mark. This movie does not, it's almost two hours. This movie does not need to be two hours. No, man. It needed to be an hour and a half, just like the original. Yeah. Like, you, you didn't need, there's, there's a lot of stuff you didn't need. You could have trimmed it up a little bit. And that's another thing about Space Jam too, is like, you, you have just kind of like shots of Michael Jordan you know, dribbling and passing and stuff like that. And then there's there's one, like, kind of montage scene at the end where they're scoring a lot of points and getting back up. Uh, of, of, this is of Space Jam. And, uh, you know, you just see him laugh, and I think it's whenever they yank the, the pants off one of the Monstars. It's like, yeah. nice, nice butt. And, uh, you know, then you just have Michael Jordan, like, just a close-up of the face, just, like, laughing. I just thought that I, I just thought that was funny and you you know it's just it was uh it was just shot differently you know it was uh what's what's the budget on Space Jam let's that's see, what I want to know let's see real quick it's because I feel I feel like it's probably mid like it's not going to be crazy high but let's see here budget got? 80 million 80 million yeah <laughs> 250 Point two million, so yeah, that's good. New legacy. I don't think New Legacy is gonna have anything on here. Oh, sh- oh well. Oh no, it will. Oh, it will. <laughs> it made. Uh, it cost a hundred and fifty million, and it's so far only brought in fifty three million. But that's yeah, that's cool. that's that's fair. I mean, if you if you factor in HBO, uh, HBO subscriptions, I I think those should be counted towards ticket sales, at least for that month. You know. That first yeah, month, yeah, yeah, but, but 150 million for this movie—it's all CGI too, or or you know, bits of animation. Um, they they say it's, it feels very—it's all over the place. This this thing is very uh, schizophrenic in a way, where yeah. you got all these personalities. And I mean, I see it in the writers. Uh, I, how many writers did Space Jam have? I mean, it had just let's see, Space Jam would have one writer. So it had, <coughs> it had it had the it had a team of writers. Well, and 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 you know that that almost kind of you would expect that for a movie like this because it's going to be all over the place. Um, but I think you could probably get away with just like two or three. I don't think you need seven. Like you said. Yeah. And then, and, and then, but okay. But a lot of these writers are based on space jam. Let's see. There's three of them right there. Are you talking about just, yeah. Let me, let me see real quick. Cause if you look at it where it says the part, it's a screenplay. Cause screenplay is going to be the, the actual. Okay. Movie. Yeah. Because story, because the, the characters wow. that were created from the story were the people who were telling it, and the screenplay the people who wrote the movie. So this is the people that wrote the movie. Um, Why the did they have ampersand, ampersands, and then and? What was? I wonder what the point of that is. If there's a dif- it, if there's a differentiation. Maybe, the but because I'm also thinking it might be like just lazy writing or the code broke. Because sometimes the code <laughs> might be close. Because yeah. yeah, they'll do that. It's either you, yeah, because I think they're all supposed to be ampersands. I think that's all breaking the code, breaking, breaking the, code. the code, breaking. I just don't. I didn't. I I, I think Don Cheadle's a great actor. I, I I love him in the Ocean's movie. I love him in a lot of his stuff he's done. The whole total uh, Wakanda, well, Wanda. Um, I was about to say uh, freaking. <laughs> there, my. I was about to say uh, not Asgard, but uh, <coughs> I can't think again. It's too early for me. Um, for the morning person, but. It's the, the, the I just didn't like his his, his the the villain um, portrayal of him and the fact that the monsters were based off NBA players now but they don't or you know WNBA players at that but it wasn't even like um, there was no connection so even like as I'm I'm watching both these movies right now you have the Larry Bird Wayne Knight Bill Murray like they they're carrying the story still you know. Mm-hmm. Um, even the fact that Wayne Knight's character doesn't know how to like get Michael Jordan back. So he starts digging a just hole. Dig. <laughs> does they stand? Yeah, does they stand? How he uh, he just starts digging a hole. And you're just like, what is he doing? He's like, he's like, because I, I was thinking about it. I was like, I think that's kind of what you'd have to do. Like, you know, '96. Like, if Michael Jordan got sucked through a hole, you just start digging the hole. <laughs> but yeah, it, it actually leads him to like staying there, and then he finds you know the, the actual entrance. So that's kind of good that he did that. Um, you know, I th- I think I think if you were a young NBA fan right now, this would be. A fantastic movie, and what's crazy is uh, you need the legacy or Space Jam. Oh, uh, legacy. I don't know, man. This feels like Ready Player One, like ish, and the fact that they they say like they contradict themselves where you, they're doing the lineup, and it says we need to get the Iron Giant and King Kong 
and then they say they're not available, but they're in the the audience. They're in the crowd watching it. Like, yeah. why did you why did you bring them back? Like, why? Like, I don't know. I I felt like a lot of the the it was cool. Well, that was that was just that was Bugs manipulating him. That wasn't necessarily the writers. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you, what, they could have. Hold on, wait. Are you talking about? Wait, what? Did the Bugs Bunny write the movie? No, what I'm saying is like. Bugs is trying to get him to use the Toon Squad because he wants everybody back together. Oh, okay. Bugs, Bugs has an ulterior motive. That's nah, that's where. So, so you're saying don't, he's that he didn't he didn't reach out to them. It's, and yeah, no, he's he's telling them that these people are unavailable, <laughs> or maybe they possibly. No, that that tracks that's your not, right. That's bad writing, dude. That's just bad writing. Uh, or maybe that's that's actually writing not getting together with the uh, well. The okay, what if it what if it was not necessarily bad writing, but mangled up writing? Bad writing. Okay. <laughs> bad writing. That's what that would lead me to believe. Um, because that's what, what when you have a mangled up script, you're it's going to lead to what we have. This is this is this has a this has a lot of um, just now current references that they're trying to do because I, I see it as a digital movie versus an analog movie. Which one was made on, you know, um, like film, and the other one's made on digital cameras. So I, I see that's that's the thing. Um, I mean, even the little what's his what's the 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 algae's um, like, like like Pete Pete, Pete or something. Like that. Yeah, even that yeah. thing has attitude. Um, you know, it's it's just when you start when they start actually start playing the basketball game, they're not even playing basketball anymore. They're, they're adding the like it's like a, it's they're cheating. They're adding all those. Uh, it was like it's like NBA Jam is the game his his, his kid essentially created. It was NBA Jam. It's the same. The same yeah, game. yeah, so, I love that game by the way. So, and that is an awesome game. And also, I don't know if you've ever noticed on that game, it won't let you like run up the score. Really? So as soon as you're up by like nine points, it, it'll you'll start missing. Unless hmm. you get unless you get on fire, a, 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 and, and then you'll start missing. Get on fire, you on fires, but it won't let you run up the score. That's one thing I noticed about NBA Jams. <laughs> Interesting. Always, but it never bothered me. Because it made me want to be more efficient with my shooting. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I, I used to love On Fire. Yeah. Well, He's great. on fire. He's on uh, fire. I mean, I think just also, too, getting all the references for all the people in Space Jam. But in, in the Legacy, there's just um, a lot of, like, movie references. Like, it's Pennywise is in there. They have the, mm-hmm. the Batman Returns uh, Penguin. You have they White have, Walkers. Yes, they have White Walkers. And Game I think they also have the... The, the Arnold uh, Mr. Freeze in there at yeah, one point. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They do, right? I thought I saw that. So it's like they're trying to, to put all this, um, you know, they don't really, they, I don't feel like they make the movie like loony, though. It's like they're trying to market uh, Warner Brothers. <laughs> it's really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's, like products. Yeah. Yeah. And and not even like, because in, in the first Space Jam, of course, you had marketing. You had, uh, oh, hell, what was it? Uh, McDonald's. I mean, dude, that was. I know I wanted every single damn Happy Meal so I could get all the Space Jam toys. Yeah, you know, like that yeah, was they're... that was what I was wanting back in the day. Um, uh, oh well, he does. Wait, wait, that is. Well, then I forget. He also writes the Dream Team Superman, and Superman does. Come. <laughs> yeah, Superman saves them in the train. Um, I mean, I did like. I I wish the the month. I mean, this is the only thing. This with this movie is I don't like saying that. Like, let's let's change this because I I I didn't write this movie. I don't have anything to do with this movie. So all I did was watch it. I didn't pay thirty dollars to watch it, but I watched it. Um, but it's my time, which is more valuable. But what <laughs> I'm saying is what what I'm saying is with, with this movie. As I'm watching it, like, I, at first I was like, the thing that's cool about Michael Jordan is they even they look at him like when um the the. The villain at the end is, why didn't you get this guy? He's like, well, he's a baseball player. Yeah. And, and it's like, that's clever. Like, they would have never looked for him. If he was if he was playing in the NBA, they would have got him right away. But he wasn't. He was playing baseball. So that's why they, he goes, they don't look like a baseball player to me. Even when Bugs Bunny, even when Michael Jordan tells him, I'm a baseball player. And then Michael, and Bugs Bunny goes, right. <laughs> like, like you, you have that. Like you have these things, like these these little jokes here, and where they go at, go at, uh, you know, they go at, at uh, MJ. It just feels like LeBron's like, he gets everything he wants. Like he doesn't. There's really no struggle with him. There's no growth. And and I can't. There's no connection with him and the actor. I don't know if it's his bad acting or, or if uh, what. But like the, I, the son, I don't feel it. I don't feel like you know like um, the the brothers. I don't even feel the connection like their brothers. The other the, the the LeBron's kids. Yeah. Like it just it just feels like it's kind of focusing on this one one character. Um, well, I'm trying to think real quick about the the scene where, where oh. 
what that mean? Never mind. Sorry. I was um, trying to think about like uh, just the way the the story of Legacy, with all the the characters. Is the new setter connection? Maybe. Sorry, this something went out on my phone. Are you good? Oh, that's sorry. That's why. Oh, I, my Wi-Fi turned off. Anyways, so um, not just. I mean, I'm I, I'm literally this is the first time I've actually watched two movies at the same time as we're we're doing it. I'm trying to talk, but it's I'm just trying to pick at it because Legacy has just I just has a lot of things wrong with it. Um, even, but we, there's, I'm on the scene here of Space Jam where Charles Barkley goes and plays with the girls and, and then it, it, it like traumatizes them. He has to go to therapy for it, you know, mm-hmm. but, it, but I think at the time, like this is like WNBA, you know, like started getting, in, I didn't even think about this when I watched it. I just saw them playing basketball. I never realized it was girls playing hooping. And yeah. I just saw, I just saw basketball. Um, let's see. Well, the, oh, this is what I wanted to ask you. Hey, um. Who do you think? Who I I, I think Michael Jordan's acting is better than than LeBron James for sure. Do you think who's 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 acting is I don't know want to say worse, but Shaq or LeBron James? LeBron James. Shaq yeah. is a Shaq is a great actor. That's what I'm saying. He, yeah. No, he was in those general commercials. I mean, he has chops. He has chops. So so yeah. So like, Le, I mean, Le, Le, I, Le, they they should have. Yeah. I mean, they sh- they could have done it with Shaq. I mean, uh, what was it? Kazam. Uh, that one, uh, I don't know about that one, but like for if if he was in a movie about basketball, oh dude, Shaq would kill it all day. Did you see the movie uh, Blue Chips? No. That's a that's a that's a Nick Nolte's the a head coach, and he just kind of goes through like the you see him as he goes through um, like kind of like plays like a Bob Knight character and all these uh these these uh, players he goes recruits and Shaq's one of them. Mm-hmm. This when Shaq was like the biggest player around or the biggest thing. And um, <laughs> like uh yeah he, he acts in that one. That's one of the, I think one of his first movies acts in. But but I mean being an NBA being an NBA player is like uh it's a dream. Like being an NBA player to um to like just uh go pros is what they kinda tell us when we're kids, right? Um, I have issues with the NBA as in like the players like demanding things and wanting them right away. This whole, it's my body. I do what I want with it. Or I, I'm the professional here and I get it. I get it all. Like, I don't know what goes on. I'm not, I'm not 6'10 or seven feet tall. And, and I'm not a, I'm not a, um, you know, I'm a guy that likes to play basketball. Um, you know, I'm limited in certain things, but you know, I'm one of those guys I'd play for free. I just, there's a yeah. million people like me that would play for free. And uh, you get it with the Bill, Bill Murray character right away. I, di- I didn't even because like in my head the whole time I was like, yeah, dude, I'd play for I'd play basketball free. But then uh, Bill Murray has this like, I want to get in there, and he only plays for ten seconds. He's like, I gotta go ice my knees or other go like, yeah, like, like it's like, yeah, that's why because there's athletes as actually people that are born bred athletes. There's some people that are made, but but I feel like there's some some I always always felt that athletes are like if you can learn the game and then you have the physical attributes for the game. You can you'd be a really good a standout player, and then you know there's other things I learned about like determination, uh, you know, heart, just like passion and stuff. Like that. you put those into the game, but now it's more about style and how you look, which is very obvious in the legacy. Um, uh, what do you call it? Movie. It doesn't even play around at all. Like like you even joke around with the tall guys when in, in Space Jam when they're walking uh, walking in the doctor's office and they hit their head on the, <laughs> on the freaking like that's a that's a goofy joke. They're tall guys. They're they're like in average people's like uh, surroundings. That's kind of funny like that they show that. <laughs> that's true. I never I never thought of it like that. That's funny. And then yeah. they have a you have Muggsy Bogues there. He's like the only one that doesn't get hit. Um, and then like the way they write Lola Bunny too. She's like beautifully written. You know. Like mm-hmm. a little sassy, but like she's like even when they, when they, she walks in, like nah, 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 you know, and I don't I don't know if that's sexist or anything, but she's there's she's a hooper. That's all. It's like, like she just goes to play, you know, and she's not all mm-hmm. like you know flirty or anything. She's just oh there just to, there to whoop some ass. Yeah, I like the way I like the way she was written. Like there's characters in in this one. I mean I think yeah we were introduced to her in this one, and then uh, you know um, you have you have. You introduce her. You have the um, the little aliens, and that's a that's about it on the introductions. But with um, Legacy, you don't really have like, I mean, there's no connection. You don't connect to any characters. You can't. You, there's there's nothing there for like uh, to play with. Um, like uh, what I'm trying to say is like you have. A lot of the loony characters in the first one, and in there you get to see them being loony. Even the little mouse. I don't even know how that little mouse made it on the team. And my mom said, "If I come and play, I'm <laughs> I don't know." How that that was hilarious, it. man. I always thought that was the funniest part. 
The only thing I, I could think of is that's like Gen X making fun of millennials because I think that's how we were. <laughs> we were when they looked at us. And even because because even the the Sean Bradley monster wasn't being a, a, a rude or anything. He just bounced the ball on top of him because you know it could have been an accident. But but that was funny. My mom said, "I was like, is that supposed to be us? Is that supposed to be like, <laughs> because on the court you can't. You back in the day you couldn't be like that. You had to come and play, or you couldn't. They wouldn't let you on." Yeah, you know what I mean. Or they take your spot, or they beat the crap out of you. So, like, <laughs> it it was different back then. And I, I, all I was trying to think was how did where, how did the where was the big separation in basketball? Where and I think also the gym because I'm a, I was start off as a gym kid, and then but then you have to go play outside. You know, you have to learn how to play both. And if you stay inside the gym, it's one thing, and you go play outside is another thing. And uh, when you kind of get the the middle balance, I think is good. But like, I could shoot way better inside a gym than I could outside. But then when I'm outside, since I can't shoot that well, I have to work on my inside game. But, you know, I play my games inside. So as soon as I go back in the, the gym and, and I do my, like, rec leagues or just any anytime I was playing, uh, rec um, you know, organized sports, organized basketball, you know, it's like, oh, so now because I played outside, I have this new technique that I could bring in the gym. But I feel like a lot of people just stayed in the gym and, and you just kind of worked on that out. Because it, it's a lot, you know, it's air control, it's, it's climate control. There's, uh, you know, there's water, there's restrooms. There's, you know, it's 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 meant to... to, to I, I can't believe I'm figuring this out as I'm talking to you right now. It's like kind of it's there to convenience you. We're we're outside. It's like it's hot, sweaty, humid. There's gravel. You slide. You scratch your ankles. You, bro you roll your ankles. So it's like a hard environment. Um, I feel like in the uh, maybe that maybe that might have something to do with players. I don't know. I, I just I just remember when I was like a junior or sophomore, junior in high school. Like the big guys no longer wanted to be in the in the paint anymore. So they would just shoot three pointers. And yeah. I was like, and it was intimidating when you're, you know, I'm 5'11", and there's a guy 6'11", just like, I'm like, oh, I got to guard this guy. But then it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to out, 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 you know, move me in the paint. But then they stay outside. And I'm like, wait, he's not even, I, how do I rebound this guy? He's not even going for it. I'm like, what, what's going on? And then they're, they're over there trying to be point guards or, you know, that, like, like I said, that position doesn't even really exist anymore. Um, if you compare the, like the, I keep going back to the Monstars, but like the Larry Johnson character, the um, the is it, it's Sean Bradley, Charles Barkley, uh, Muxy Bogues, and Patrick Ewing. Like, there's a connection there, and those those players kind of stayed with their respective teams for a long time. Where these players nowadays just jump around whenever they want, whenever they feel like it. Kawhi Leonard didn't even play for a whole year and got paid 18 million dollars to sit the bench, and they're gonna say he was injured, but I, he wasn't injured. He won a championship the next year. How do you go from an injury to that? It's not, they, I don't know. The, if you if you if you were to read a legacy in a comic book, maybe or like. Like like someone were to tell you the story, it, it it makes a pretty good story, but watching it is horrible. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What I want to I want I, I I mean I really want to hear what you think about that because you're I'm getting some good comparisons from you because you you actually you're going in here like kind of equal grounds on both movies. Yeah. Well, I mean, I definitely don't have the the basketball knowledge you do. I I know of LeBron. I know of Jordan, but I don't. I don't I don't necessarily know like any stats or anything like that. Very, very ignorant whenever it comes to basketball. <laughs> I don't think it, I, but I don't think it matters anymore. They don't. I think they just. I don't even know. They're, I feel like they're just giving out championships. I now, mean, the, the, the Bucks. They 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 did. Uh, that was a good series. I did watch the Bucks and Suns. That was good. Well, and that's the thing. Like whenever um, Space Jam came out, like I said, I I mean. It didn't necessarily like get me excited for basketball, but I was like, okay, cool basketball. You know Michael Jordan. I know who that is now. Perfect. You know, it just kind of got me into that. Um, I don't know. It. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say there. It just kind of got me in the loop with basketball, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like I was. Let's see. It came out what ninety six. So I was like five, five years old. No, well, yeah, yeah, I was like five, so I was like, you know, Bugs Bunny, awesome, yeah, I knew who that was. I'd seen him on TV all the time. Uh, but who's you know, who's this I, Michael Jordan character? I don't know who he is, but like I said, you go, you see the movie, you find out it, it is almost kind of like a little uh, little crash course in who Michael Jordan is. You see that little part at the beginning, and they kind of have that in Legacy as well, where you know you have them interacting with a. You know, either their father or a father figure, and then that kind of sets precedent for how the movie is going to go. Uh, you know, you do have that kind of story arc with LeBron, and you kind of see it from the beginning. Like his coach is like, "Hey, quit playing around." You know, it's always serious. Da da da. And you see him like, "Oh, what are you doing? You can't be playing around out here." And it's a basketball court. I mean, it's literally a game. 
you know, and yeah. but and that's that's the thing is he loses sight of the having a good time and having fun with it, and and you know he's making a career out of it, and you know I like I said I don't know how LeBron James operates or you know his relationships with his family anything like that so my only natural assumption if you're writing this then you would probably take a little bit from that person that you're writing this movie for because i mean like i said space jam and even space i mean um both these movies were written to make to use that star power of the uh nba star to kind of catapult the movie i mean the looney tunes have it don't get me wrong but they also were in a movie with the incomparable Brendan Fraser, and that movie did not do well, hardly at all. Um, uh, on that, I'm gonna blame on Steve Martin on that one. So we're gonna oh, get it. oh, oh, that's a low blow. <laughs> that's a low blow. How is that a low blow? You, you blame you, you blame went, you blame you Steve Martin, dude. You you went straight you for blame Brendan Steve. Fraser. You did you like ignored Steve Martin's performance? What's up with Steve Martin in that? Steve Martin could do whatever the hell he wants. And why can't Brendan Fraser do whatever the hell he wants? Listen, at that point in time, had Brendan Fraser done Bowfinger? Had Brendan Fraser done The Jerk? Three Amigos? No. But, it's, okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even going to be... I'm not a, a, a pause. <laughs> Don't try uh, to argue with me. I'm saying unreasonable things. <laughs> Oh my God. Um, See, that movie was just i don't know i don't know about that it, I, you know it wasn't it wasn't a terrible movie it, it really wasn't bad. it it, it, it just it, it wasn't uh i think the time nobody ca- nobody that. cared yeah. dude yeah, nobody yeah, cared no, about yeah. i mean like i said with space jam you had michael jordan to to kind of catapult that and i think that's that's probably why they waited so long you know to actually make the second space jam is they they wanted to make sure they had a uh you know a character could everybody could know who it was like yeah but it's lebron freaking james dude i guess a billionaire everybody yeah but that's what i'm saying is everybody knows who lebron james is i i think yeah but not, like i don't think we're it's not so like michael jordan is cool like how you just said you kind of knew more about Ma- uh, michael jordan because of the movie like mm. it like uh it, it, you have to kind of find him and you kind of loop yourself in where lebron james is freaking everywhere you gotta know about him like you, even if you don't want to know about him he's, he's yeah like, but i feel like that was michael jordan back in the day you know, if Michael Jordan had social media and everything, I mean, he'd be tweeting, he'd be, he'd be interacting um, like that. Oh, come on, it, dude! It's weird. No, I don't know how it'd be because he was. If you got to watch that documentary, because they show how Michael Jordan really is, and he is an alpha male man. He's, he's, he's a, uh, he's aggressive. He's strong. He you know, puts people there. So, so he's, he puts people down, you know, and stuff like that. And um, <coughs> but the the to make I guess the morale of the whole psyche of a team. But like in today's standards, if they uh, if they would have showed that from back in the day, they would have tried to probably counsel them. But they didn't come out to like you know thirty years later that we're, we're we're showing how Michael Jordan really is. It's already too late by this point. But man, he was a uh, he was his his image posted posted on my, as MJ was that he was a, a good guy, you know, a wholesome person. And he and for, and he and he was. But we didn't know about the gambling, you know. He's like he's yeah. partying. I didn't know he drank. He, there, there's in the, in the documentary he's drinking Miller Lights uh, like the after a game. And then he said, "Man, when I got in the league, they used to drink before the game, during the game, after the game." And I was like, "Holy <laughs> crap!" You know, it's like it shows you this this, this realism of him. But if he would have saw that in the like 2000s, they would have already started putting him down. You know, it was yeah. like, cancel Michael Jordan. But they hid that. Um, LeBron's always been in front of the spotlight, uh, even though I I I I am not a LeBron hater. I I I love the pedigree, the the way of the the you know the um, the way LeBron goes from being one to he can play the one through five, he can play five positions. But I, as you hear me say that, that means I'm so stuck on positions which don't exist anymore. So the game is completely changed now. Um, and in the sense of like, there's the, the the way it's told, the way the theatrical um, you know narrative comes out of the game. It's just it's just a bunch of people like I mean that's what I was saying. The 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 stats finals was pretty good because it was actually real basketball where they were like it looked it felt like they were playing for a point, like they were playing to 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 win. Where a few you know the whole like Golden State and Cleveland like they gave us that like four years in a row like like really like. Like it's not like they really kind of got there. And then when 2016, when LeBron James won it in uh, Cleveland, which I thought was great, but then you look at the stats, like Kyrie Irving was averaging like 40 points a game. So like his like Robin to his Batman, you know? Mm-hmm. When Robin was doing way more than Batman. So it's like, <laughs> you know, it, it, I don't know. It's just the decisions. I, I've asked I've asked some people, like, why do they hate LeBron? And they would just say, like, if you're going to another team, you don't have to have a half hour or an hour show about it. You just go. And he was kind of making a spectacle about it when he went to Miami. 
you know, he was uh, doing these these uh, interviews and stuff. And I, I guess I don't really care about that. I, I was more about the results. I was like, if LeBron says he's going to get seven rings, let's see him get seven rings. He got two, you know? Yeah. So, I don't know. It's just, I think, I, I think now with, with politics and, and the way things move in movies, it's going to be a big thing. Like I feel like Space Jam is just a movie. It's just a, it's a great movie. It's a little. It's got it's got lessons. I mean, even the soundtrack. You got if you don't think Space Jam is, is pretty hard, it's got R. Kelly. It starts off with R. Kelly. Dude, and and the uh, <laughs> the very like the the end credits, man. It changed like six different songs in the last in the last whenever the credits were rolling. It was Space crazy, Jam? man. Yeah, yeah like it, yeah, man. I listened to it. I was like, whoa. Like it was changing, going back and forth. Back. I was like, damn, there's a lot of songs in this one. Dude, I I, like, I, mean, we're, I have Space Jams right here in my, my like I have I have this little rack, DVD rack where I just have the movies where I can just reach out and grab them. Space Jams is in there. I have never, yeah, here it is. I gotta, I'll show you right now. It's like right here right next to me. I have never seen the end credits, but I was listening because I have the headphones on, and I started listening to the music playing. You're right. It's like six songs. I was like, oh, that sounds nice. And then there's end credits. I never knew there was end credits. What do you mean? Like a uh, uh, post-credit scene? Yeah, at the very end, the very end, there's, there's, there's a... Oh, it's like Bugs Bunny, right? Yeah, right? and he goes, well, Michael Jordan comes out and he goes, can I go home? Did you see that? No, I think I, like, just kind of saw a little bit of it. But yeah, what does it say? It just, it just shows, like, it's the, they're doing the, uh, that's all, folks, but it's... Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I did see that. I paused it right there. But Michael Jordan comes out on it? I just saw the... Yeah, he comes out at the end, and he just put, he picks up, the, like, a curtain. He goes, can I go home? And to me... I was like, I have seen this movie tons of times. I never knew that was in this thing. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, they had a Ferris Bueller's Day Off kind of moment. Yes, I did definitely. I definitely did. Um, I, 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 dude, this might actually be a short episode if I don't start th- opening up a lot more about about basketball. But you know, no, I, no. I mean, like I said, dude, I'm. You you go for it because I, I don't know a whole lot about basketball. And if it's a shorter episode, that's fine. I mean, we've learned from Space Jam as opposed to Space Jam and New Legacy. Hour and a half will do a lot better than two hours if you don't need to. Yeah, I don't want to kill the time. But, I, I, you know, it's because also we're like the way that our day our days are going. So, so we're moving a little bit faster. But I, but the thing is, with the, when you compare the both movies, like I feel like I feel like Space Jam and I, you know, with my feels, the Space Jam, like I said, it doesn't hit me with the it hits me with the nostalgia, but it's not getting in the way. I'm looking at it just as a yeah. movie, but Legacy, it just it's all over the place, man. And and um, the whole like internet, they start focusing on the internet and the deleting of of things, like getting rid of things. I I feel like they're trying to throw jabs at like they're gonna get rid of like the Looney. They saw the way we get rid of the Looney Tunes, you know. There, I feel like there is parts here that are 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 okay. They could they could have like like piggybacked off, but they just let them slide. Um, I think you're right, though. I think that Space Jam is more about Looney Tunes, whereas A New Legacy is about LeBron. Yeah. Like, the, I do like the running joke of Martian Manhunter always getting hit by the the door. That one's that one's just a classic. Yeah. And I'm watch, like I said, I'm watching New Legacy right now. But, I mean, that's... There's more ex- there was more at stake it felt like in Space Jam. You know, <laughs> like there was and even even the Space Jam new legacy like they try to make it feel like there's more at stake but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I was a kid and I didn't know any better. You know, I didn't know movies as much back then. So yeah. I watched Space Jam. This is a you know, it starts me off and you know, I go from there. Um but Ah oh, man, yeah, no, I'm I'm definitely gonna have to, I and mean, I think I already know that you like Space Jam better than Space Jam New Legacy, and I'm gonna have to agree with you. Um, I mean, 25 years later, uh, that's it feels like they're trying to do a reboot more than a sequel. Although it does seem as though that the first movie did happen, but I don't know who would know about it aside from Michael Jordan and you know his kids, right? Yeah. And, oh, and I guess, uh, oh shit, what was Wayne Knight's character's name? Stan. Stanley? Yeah. And Stan would know, Bill Murray. Um, but I don't know, man. And then this one's like broadcast everywhere and it sucks people in that want to watch yeah. it. You know, and, like. And, and then I just feel also too with the, the Space Jam shows you 
like the movie progressively where this one tells me what's going on like this one's like this i'm telling you what's cool like the kid like we don't they don't they don't really develop the the story of the kid they we're just supposed to accept that he's some kind of genius like he's a genius that's all i'm telling you and then and then as it starts i don't, going, I, I don't know if you necessarily have to be a genius to to make the video game i think well, it's more no, like no, follow no, follow no, follow you no 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 we know that but in this movie they're showing us that you have to be a genius the way they built up as the kid the way they talk about him, the way he's like, "Oh, this is your game." This is your, like it's it's kind of like they're making. Well, it see or are you talking about like Al G Rhythm? No, I'm talking about the kid himself. The no, yeah, but I'm saying like, but you're saying that, but who's building him up like that to well, be Al, a, Al G a builds him up like to to kind of feed him whatnot, to like to feed him. The, but what we're watching, we're, he's supposed to be some like some tech kid that doesn't want to play basketball. Yeah, and then well, I mean. You, but he, but it's, I get that part. They're trying to do like that. His, your, your, your LeBron is his LeBron. His kid is his kid. But they mm -hmm. don't really show it. They don't show the interaction. It's it, I don't know if it's horrible acting on his part, but it's the fact that um, that the kid like they just kind of show us like they, that he's like I mean they don't they don't really show us how he got. They just tell us like hey he's he's into the video games. He's really good. There's no one else like him. Like there's they don't show him at a competition. They don't show him against his peers. They just kind of tell us like that he's the next thing. Like there's no. There's no trophies. I don't know if there was trophies on that, but it's like it's like he's a what junior high, like he's a kid. Yeah, you know. But I'm well. I mean, I don't know. I think it's just different nowadays. I mean, I feel like anybody can make their their own game. You know, I, I don't feel like that. Oh, I'm not saying that he can't. I'm just I'm just saying that it is easy. I bet you there's. A, I mean, I know programs that you can just drag and drop things. I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. They, I'm like you got to show us something. If he is, if he is that, like I, his, I, show I, us something. Yeah, I never, I never kind of felt like he was some kind of whiz kid or anything. I just, I felt like he was just a kid trying to follow his dreams of creating a, a video game. Okay, so, so, so now it's the norm now. So any kid that wants to be, a, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be smartass about this. Like, no, 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 no. Any kid that wants to be a, because it is true. Because I mean, it's all there. The technology is there. The yeah. YouTube channels. If a kid, an 11 year old, starts learning about coding, by the time he's 14, 15, in four years, he'll understand a, a shit ton, you know. Yeah. But not, but you know, but. There, you would have to, you'd have to still socialize with people and find other people that are into whatever your that thing is. But what I'm trying to say is like, like, um, then he's just an average. He's just LeBron James kid. Then you know what I'm saying? Like he's he's just that's all he is in the movie. Well, I mean, and that's that's I mean, yeah, kind of. I mean, that's almost what they kind of try to make it feel like is like, yeah, you're LeBron's James kid. You're gonna be playing basketball. And he's like, no, I don't. I'm I'm I'm. This is what I'm interested in, kind of thing. Well. Well, no, you. Well, I don't know where. Okay, where are you getting that from? Because it's the the LG. The LG is the one giving him the influence to do it. Where LeBron is supposed kind of getting in his way because he wants him to focus on basketball. And that's why at the end, when he takes him to the, I guess the basketball camp and the the three G, whatever the 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 tech school or the tech camp is, they're right next to each other or something. Because the kid was walking and he goes, "Oh, by the way, here you go." Yeah, and, like, and he goes, "Give me the ball." And I knew I was like, "He's gonna hold on to it." He goes, well, "Let me hold on to this." And so LeBron goes, "Oh, okay." I mean, it's like they're telling you. That's what I'm saying. If, you, if I were to tell you the story, you'd be like, "Oh, okay, I get that." But now I'm watching. It's like it's it's kind of sappy. But I, what I, what I, that's what I'm trying to say is, if if his kid is not some like like genius or some guy that's making a game, then he's just a regular kid making a regular game. Then they're just picking on the fact that he's LeBron James' kid. Then I guess that's where it's coming on. But I didn't see that. Well, and even then, I mean, it's not like the the whole thing with his game and it being like built up i mean i felt like that was just uh don Cheadle's character just manipulating him you know i get you i get you. is it you know what i'm saying are yeah. we are we talking about the same thing nah, still we are, but it's I'm, i think it is i think it is i i i felt i felt like the the kid was i mean a decent he did a decent job acting i um well, i mean it's, it's hard yeah i can't tell because he's He's uh, next because, to Cheeto, and then he's next to LeBron James. So it's like, yeah. you know, it's like it's. Yeah. it's uh, I mean, I can't tell. I can't. I can't really gauge him. Uh, I, I. I don't think he's bad. I don't think no. He's a bad actor. No, I he's, he's just a bad actor. I think. I think it's probably hard for you to go from working with one guy to the next to the next guy. You know, like a, a yeah. class A, then you have to go with this other guy. Um, and somebody you probably looked up to too. You know, he's probably looked up to LeBron James and working with him. And oh yeah. Like instantly finding out, like, oh, I'm a way better actor than you are. <laughs> you know, <what> I mean? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like um, I mean, it's, but, it's stardom. Yeah, and like, like I said, I mean, at least from what I can understand, I mean, the so the algorithm, I'll just say that. I don't like saying the algae rhythm every time. Um, 
Yeah, the the algorithm al- algorithm's just pissed at LeBron, and he's just manipulating his kid, right? Yeah, I can see. Yeah, I can see that. And that that's what's happening in the movie, right? I Am mean, I? I, I, I because see, he, I, I, he I, called I, his I, he calls he calls his idea like stupid, and then the algorithm gets mad, and then kidnaps his son, manipulates his son into thinking that this is what's going to happen, makes a deal with LeBron, double crosses the son and LeBron. And dude, like I said, it's just the algorithm manipulating the boy the whole time. Dude, what you just said right there, like I said, that what you just said about that movie was way better than the actual movie. But it's hard. It's hard to pick up with it. There's a lot of glamour and glare. I, afraid, I, yeah, not, I, 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 I get what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. So, hmm. so you know what I mean? Like, um, I think they're also having a hard time maybe like, they want you to be like, this is the villain, this is the villain. But you, I mean, uh, I mean, it's. Just, uh, I think, I think the algorithm's the clear villain. I mean, yeah. No, no. But I was saying is like, um, where you just said like, there's an algorithm that gets mad at LeBron James already. It's like, okay, that's the, that's the movie. That's yeah. Al- that's already kind of. And, like, and okay, so you're just saying that it's a good story. The execution just wasn't there. Like yeah, they had I mean, all the they had they had all the pieces and everything like that. You just don't think it was done effectively. I won't say it's a good story. I say it's a story there. And then the fact that that you had there's a story there, I thought that all right, that's good. But yeah, the way it comes off about it, I mean, we also have a repeat offender here. And um, what's the guy from from Get Out? Uh, I told you not to. <laughs> oh, uh, Lil Ray yeah. Howard. Lil Ray Howard, right? Lil, yeah, Lil Ray Howard, yeah. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a repeat offender. Yep. And uh, he he came back, and uh, I mean, I felt like his energy in this movie was low. Like I I I felt like he, if he would have brought more energy. Like uh, usually the panic that he has, that, that really yeah. Feel like here is a little bit more of a commentator. Like I thought, he actually he's actually doing the role as a commentator. I thought it'd just be him there. I don't even know what is he playing himself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that's my best guess is he was he was looking at something about LeBron James and got sucked into the phone. So these are so what I kind of picked up was like these are essentially the biggest LeBron fans. That oh okay yeah because that's who's targeted he's like i looked i looked down at my phone to see something about lebron james and i got sucked into my phone so that's that has to be my guess is these are the big lebron james fans that's who got sucked in okay so i'll say this much you this is you have warner brothers backing you up here yeah you have technology that's been you're updated now and this is what mm-hmm. you give me. That's where I'm. That's where I'm also saying. Like, you, you, it try. I think you're right, though. It tries to be a lot cooler than it is. Yeah, it tries to be real cool, and it's not. Yeah, and it just. But I think. I think you're that right? if I think that if you were, you know, like you said, whenever you were younger, you were watching the NBA. You were ecstatic about it, right? Yeah, I watched the games. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you were, if you were. You're the age you were back then now, and you were watching the NBA, and you were keeping up with it. You knew about stuff and all that. You, like I said, you're, you're younger. I feel like Space Jam A New Legacy would be a fun movie. Like it'd be, You would see the cameos. You would see you know, commentary. You would see jokes about LeBron. There'd be you know, probably jokes that you wouldn't get that you would later. Um yeah, you know, stuff like that. I think that's that's where I'm saying like this is a this is a reboot, and I feel like I feel like that. I don't know. You have opinions on how basketball has changed over the last 25 years, and no doubt, and undoubtedly, that has had to have happened. So, but, but this is all. This is all. Oh, sorry, go. But I just feel like this is a movie 25 years later. This this movie has. I think it's not as good as Space Jam, but it's it's on par. Like it's right, it's toting the line, dude. It's it's right there. I got, I mean, it's I don't think so. Man. In my opinion, like my, we're gonna have two hard opinions, and I don't think you're gonna you kind of kind of guess my score, but I don't, I don't like I can tell you how my score went because I started off with the score and it just kept going worse and worse and worse. And I was like, I can't believe it could go worse than where I'm at already. Um, so if all if if all I knew was this NBA, let's say like I don't know anything about '90s NBA, 2000 NBA. If I was born in 2000, and this is all the NBA, <coughs> I'll, yeah. tell you, I'll tell you this much: there, it has there's it changed over like in 2012, 2014, it started changing in that era, that era. But even at that, like I had to look up who the monsters were on and Legacy because it wasn't clear to me. I didn't know Clay Thompson was a 
was one of the was one of the uh, was a wet fire. He's it was Clay Thompson, and the only reason I knew that that was AD was the brow because they make it predominantly the brow. But there's no like uh, what I'm, what I'm saying is the it was easy for me to fall in love with the characters that they picked uh, the monsters they picked in the first one because you actually spend time with them. You actually get to know them. You, this one they just show up and they're like you got they're badasses. Okay, I, okay, I okay. They said they're badasses. How am I gonna hold on? Like even right now with with if I, if I was 19 or or or, or 16 or, or 11. Watching this, how, I mean, let's, let's, let's how the brains go. You just got to get a little glimpse of it and that's well, it. Well, yeah, and then, you know, also infer, uh, access to information may also, may also play a factor into that. You know, what you had uh, those NBA players. Um, you know, I didn't know who Charles Barkley was either or Patrick Ewing or – oh, I'm, I probably couldn't even name all those guys that were on the on the Monstars team that they stole the, the talent from. Yeah. You know? Um, and, but like I said, that's, that's just – that's that's uh that's who I am. I'm not I'm not a big sports guy. Uh I'm gonna own a big sports bar. Um <laughs> no, uh really hi Dr. Kaiser. <laughs> <laughs> beer? Dick beer. beer? <laughs> um oh, hey, but yeah, yeah man. Pit <laughs> State Steve versus the No Skid March Steve. Steve. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing now? Just uh just hanging around playing Nintendo? No, I'm actually uh, still doing for the Olympics. So, what are you wow. guys doing? Oh, Sitting just around playing Nintendo. Hanging out, playing Nintendo. Cock. Cock. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, man. See, that's that's more my speed. Uh, well, see, you that's know, a sports go... movie, and this is a sports movies. You know, that's what I like. No, no, that basketball. Yeah, basketball. Was, okay, yeah. They'll, it they'll bring it. No, bring in basketball. As much as basketball is a mockery of sports, it is more sports relatable than Legacy. I'll tell you that much. Maybe, yeah. Nah, dude. I, 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 I mean, I feel, I feel like they, they didn't really massage this movie. Um, they didn't really. They just said this is what's gonna be, and that's final. Like they didn't really think it through, or they're just. It's, it's. It does feel like, it, it feels weird, man. It doesn't. Um, like even like as I was saying, I do know the characters that even at this age, like I do know the characters that were played by the monsters and the on the the legacy, but I had to. I couldn't. They, it wasn't clear to me who they were. Yeah. So I had to go back and look them up. Where the other ones, it was like real clear, like the Sean, but the blue guy looks exactly like the tall white guy. The little dude looks exactly like the short dude. You know, like, mm-hmm. like it, it, it was really easy for me to follow, even if I didn't know who the, who the players were. This is they just came out of nowhere. So there was a really no like connection. But I, I mean, you, you don't want to repeat the well, but you, you you can find other ways to do it. You know, you could show Clay Thompson and Anthony Davis hanging out as friends, and then they get sucked in because they're you know. Some, some, I don't know. There's, there's tons of things you can do. I'm not, like I said, I'm yeah, not I, I guess, I guess it kind of goes back to didn't feel like there was a lot at stake. Maybe if they had sucked those players in or kind of got like you, like you said, did an introduction. I mean, it was almost two hours long. You're right. You're absolutely right on that. And this, yeah. and the Warner Brothers movie. I mean, Tim and Burton. This, Tim Burton was able to make the Batman Returns the way it, the it looks, and and that's like it's like its own gnarly movie. And I'm like, they could have done something with this. They could have made it a gnarly movie, but they went complete digital with it. And it's all attitude. Yeah, it's all attitude. There's no, it's, there's no real jokes. There's no, there's no real funniness. Mm-hmm. There's no, there's no. It's not. It's, it's supposed to be playful. Even like, like if it's meant for, if it's, not, if it's not meant for a thirty year old. That this is a crazy ass like a kid that we're we're, we're going to be serving this up for because this is all over the place. Yeah, well, that 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 does track though, dude. Like with the, you know, you kind of need it to be all over the place. You're not going to keep somebody's attention for. Two hours doing the same damn thing. Over yeah, and they, over again. two hours. They need. They need. You're. You're absolutely right. This needs to be a ninety minute movie. Yeah. And it's, it needs to be boom boom. Like, cause you could you could take all that all that budget with the ninety minutes with the, with the extra forty five minutes, and just put it in. Put in. I mean, I don't know how did how did this movie get to one fifty five? It's insane. And then also, not one time does Michael Jordan turn into an animation on his own. It's when Danny DeVito's character says the starts saying how he's gonna like, you know. Um, over exploit his talents by making him sign and stuff. Yeah, and that's the only yeah. time. And then this time, I think you get a digital real LeBron, you get a real life LeBron, you get a LeBron changing through things, and you get a an animated LeBron. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's a, there's a lot of LeBron. It's the LeBron. It's the, the space Le, space James. Space yeah, space, space James. James man, space James is like um, hashtag space James. Hashtag space James. Uh, and 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 that's the thing. I think there's a reason why championships are. Like they're valuable because to, to get one is to, to actually to earn one is freaking hard, and I guess the like Michael Jordan like left that with no doubt with, by going by six for six, and it's even like um like a, like you know I said in, in Rocky uh, when Rocky goes to Apollo he goes he's a trainer Apollo's tra- uh, trainer goes 
um, he's he's here for real. You're you're not playing mm-hmm. around. I feel like like if when Space Jams showed up, it's like it's a movie that's being for real, but yet it's, it's entertaining. Where this other one's just playing around, and this is what yeah. you get. It's and, like and we're we're here to play as a movie. That's yeah. that's what that's what Space Jam was there to say. Like we're here to win Oscars, and Space Jam: New Legacy is like we're just here to play around. Yeah, Space James is definitely a is a Space a, James. This is just, just, just yeah, Space James. There we go. Um, you know, I like it's just a lot of things like, like breaking the rules, it's making the basketball game a video game. It's like it's supposed to be entertaining. I grew up well, playing video games, and then watching this, it's like yeah. That was that was another thing too. Is like I love I love the thing in Space Jam where it's like uh, it's like oh you can do anything in here in Tomb Bro. It's like ten seconds left on the clock, and now you tell me. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, uh, I w- yeah, that was that always got me, man. Dude, you know uh, what? You might have proved you might have proven something in just that little that that sentence right there, that little phrase. You're like Michael Jordan is not aware of that he can do that, where LeBron James is aware the whole time, and they're putting it in his face. Mm-hmm. And he actually goes through the transformation of changing. Um, you know, I even tell you, like, I, I have something saved for how when it gets to scoring, how why it might even the score stays where it's at. Um, when I was a kid. We used to get uh, SW Sports, so it's a Southwest Sports, and you could watch Spurs games for sure. That's what that, that was our team, and and mm-hmm. uh, and then because uh, of San Antonio, because of because of the region, and sometimes Dallas. Very rare Houston, but we've got a lot of games. I would wake up on Saturday and Sunday mornings, and I would watch the NBA. You just watch it, dude. It's like you're just watching you're watching b-ball. But I, I, cause I guess I don't understand this, cause I guess cause I'm, I'm right on next to Mexico, where they think I'm Mexico. But we would get games from. I would watch a lot of New Jersey, a lot of Knicks, a lot of Miami Heat, and a lot of Magic. I grew up a Magic's fan for a long time, and uh, and then when Shaq got there, I was like, yeah, Penny Hardaway, Nick Anderson. But we watched the Spurs so much, I just started really just like I fell in love with that team. And uh, David Robinson's my favorite basketball player of all time, so it shows you my personality already. Um, and Tim Duncan's my second one, and D Wade would be my third. Hmm. MJ MJ goes on the top of the list for just because he's MJ. LeBron, I don't know where he falls on my list. Because um, also the thing about LeBron James is, and I, I'm already gonna call it now if you hear it for me. I don't I'm not trying to talk, I'm not trying to talk, shh, but um, I still think LeBron's gonna have influence even after the game of basketball, which I really feel that like he should already retired by now. Um, he's gonna be right play for another two or three years, and I know I'm pretty sure you're not aware of this. I think his son graduates high school next year or this year so I, really? I think he's gonna try to get him watch i'm, I'm i bet you that the lakers are gonna tank this year so they get a high a higher enough pick to pick his kid um out of, right out of high school so it's kind of i just see like it's a narrative that i'm like are you really just kind of throwing it out like that easy like like i don't know it just seems very very easy to project re, re, easy to feel where you know i liked it when a team had to work with what they got with the roster they had with the coaches that they had with the limited uh you know uh, amount of money they had and now it's just more like if the player wants to go where they want to go they can go if they want to like the holding hand leagues and that's why i haven't even brought up kevin durant kevin durant that fool i mean like he he you, you, it's like you got i don't know i don't, I don't want to talk too much like crap but um but it's like you lose to golden state instead of getting bigger and better and beating them next year he joins them <laughs> so it's just like you just made a, a power a powerhouse a juggernaut like why what are you doing and then you're, and then you act, and then he runs his mouth. Oh yeah, if I had my, if I had those guys backing me up, I'd. Re- it's like if you had Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Sting, and Jake the Snake backing you up in the ring, you're gonna win. And then still hold up Steve Austin's there, <laughs> the, you know, on, on your side, you're gonna win no matter what. Um, but, th- and that's the way I see that the game changing change a lot more, where it's more, uh, more, it's just more style or, I don't know, basketball. I think the game of the the idea of basketball has gotten bigger than the actual basketball play. And, the game has has changed a lot. It's uh, international what now, and I, I keep seeing you know the uh, United States try to keep forcing soccer down our throat. Soccer's people in people in third world countries, and I'm just talking. This is my whole bit right here. Maybe my part of my stand up, but people in third world countries play soccer because that's all they can play. You know, it's an easy sport. It's outdoors. It's one ball. It's it's a poor man sport. You know, but over the years. They started saying we're gonna focus on other sports, and basketball was one of them. I mean, come on, Serbia is like these dudes. Like we're all eight feet tall. Why are we not playing basketball? <laughs> you know, like that's what you see in the NBA. Like top five. Like I think I saw something the other day. It said like out of the top ten NBA players, like eight, uh, no, four of them are foreign born. And then after outside of that, it for like top twenty five, like eighteen of them or something like that. It's weird. Like not eighteen, sorry. Like it goes up like eight. But um, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, foreign born players are now starting to learn. You know, uh, like Ch- China's big on basketball. 
um you have a lot like lithuania's always been big on basketball and even when i was in high school we would play uh kerrville tyvee and like um where is it bernie and like these other these these little hill countries uh schools that were smaller than us like 3a 4a but we're, we're we played against like the number four ranked 4a school and that's like so like we're not even ranked we're just a small school but we're you know we're a 5a we're just small 5a and we go play them and they're like the smallest guy was like 6'2 but like why is everybody so tall here why is it because they say because it's a lot of german people you know descending in that area or that's what they would say you know that's what I, what I was told but we'd go play and like they were tall they were hard to beat and um is this actually doing this is this hold on yeah i knew it was gonna happen i turned this off sorry talking to myself um <coughs> yeah i don't know why my my phone the wi-fi gets knocked off my wi my phone a lot uh, but um the anyway so that we, we play these schools and i think now that the basketball is turning more international. I mean, I think Nigeria just beat the U.S. team the other day, the Olympic U.S. team, and and the NBA NBA hasn't lost anything in the last like thirty years like that. They've lost like five games they've in the in the last because every four years, and they've they've lost like uh, I think it was like one hundred thirty five to five or something. But Futurama actually made a good s uh, spoof on this. Remember when they they played basketball, mm -hmm. and they said we're gonna play play you at a sport that you've never even heard of. <laughs> we're gonna beat you to like a. Like that's kind of what this is. It's kind of I feel like Futurama. Excuse me. I feel like Futurama kind of kind of spoofs on this a little bit. I'm oh, sorry, Ado. Mm. But I mean, about Space Jam's about to finish. It's 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 also because I feel like Space Jam is also tied into real life. Yeah. Where where uh, uh, Space James is just in. It's just digital. It's in the uh, the internet. You're in the box. It's gonna be hard to make an internet movie. Um, I don't know. Maybe they'll be easy to make, but like to actually make sense because there's so much. The internet is just so open to everything, and now the the dark web is always you know talked about too. So it's like there's two entities already online. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see a lot of the um, movies coming out. I, I just feel like that Ready Player One thing. It was the cameos were great. The, yeah. The I wish they would have focused a little bit more. That's what I started saying earlier. I wish they would have focused a little bit more on that. Like like you know showing them out of shape or something you know there weren't there weren't really any real montage in that 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 whole sequence was great and i think that was my favorite part of the whole um space james was that whole like getting the team back together that was my favorite part and there yeah. was i mean and i'm not even gonna say that i sort of like that i liked that part a lot like that the one that i felt like when that wb kicked in like it was like Brrr! i was like please keep going in this direction and they they, they tipped off and i was like why 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 are we why are we doing this? Why are we not? Why are we not? Why aren't we like going down this road? But they didn't. They didn't do it. I mean, they, I mean, families are still integral in this movie. But Michael Jordan's family comes out very little opposed to LeBron James's family is in the like they're in they're in the movie like they're they're or not his real family but like the the characters of his family. So this is I, I'm start, starting to talk about it more. This is a, a Space James. It is about him. Yeah. And 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 I and, and I'm I mean it's weird because I, I don't want to sound contradictory where I'm saying I'm I'm not trying to sound bad about him I'm just looking at this like as a, as a um what do you call it as a movie and then as a, where you're at and and you're with like I said they spent 150 million dollars on this movie should have been like I think it feels like it's all CGI at this point or all all, all like uh, digital like um you could have put I don't know I don't want to say anything I just it is what it is I'm looking at the character voices and it's so cool Billy West is Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd. <laughs> <sighs> Man, Speaking of Futurama, yeah, the Futurama is right there. I, I see the credits going. Like, this is what I'll tell you too. The, uh, Space James pissed me so pissed me off so much that even at the end, I got super pissed off with the damn credits. <laughs> the, even the credits pissed me off. What? Just how they were? Why? It's all windy. You can't follow it. You you can't. It's a <laughs> why would you put a windy credit at the end? That 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 actually because it's like I just I'm not trying to say it needs to be old school and the, you need the credits up and down but it's easier for us to read who's who and who's going and that's the point you know you you basically all the hard work that people put into a movie goes to crap when you do, when you have like crap end credits we can't tell who did what we the 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 names and the the sweat and the the time that was put into us it's, it's kind of man I just do this cool little graphics here like I, I mean it was hard it was really hard they, and, they, and I thought they were only gonna do it for a little bit they do the whole end credits like that it's just windy credits and it's and it's very mm -hmm. skewed very very tight in there in areas and open in other areas so it's like it feels like it, it. It's hard to like track, and it's in red, I believe. So, yeah, and that's actually a hard, hard. That's a hard on your eyes. Like I'm like, what are they doing? Um, but I don't know if that's a graphic. If that's my whole background on graphics or whatnot. <laughs> I'm, just being, I'm being a prick, but 
Um, I'll say that that was hard, and that annoyed me. I was like, dude, that's we'll, so uh, we'll say it like the Guardians did. Bit of both. A bit of both. Uh, <laughs> a bit of both. Because it's, it's, it, it, it's, I mean, it might not bother you, but to me, that's a big deal. If I was, if I worked, if I put, you know, five weeks of that, my time in that movie and my name can't be seen on that, that that's kind of a, uh, you know, say five months, six months, whatever it took. Like, you want to take care of your, your, your crews and your staff, but also you want to recognize them as well. You know, they were there, yeah. they were there with you. And it's not like, you know, it makes me wonder if the, a lot of the scenes with LeBron was doing the voiceover parts because I was like, he didn't really have to, but I feel like he didn't want to be there or something yeah. like that, you know? Probably. Like he was just like, nah, I'll just do the voiceover. Uh, it's because even the voiceover sounds kind of bad. I mean, it, when you're when you're when I can compare your real life acting and your voiceover over acting in the same movie and say they, they're both bad and they're both like you know, look at this. Space Jam is popularity on IMDb. It's going up nine nine nineteen. So it's like one hundred and four right now in the popularity. So it's trending right now. <laughs> Let's see about Space James. Is it? I think it probably has to be trending. It has to be trending. Yeah, it's trending. It has two spots at 29. So, yeah, they're talking about it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, well, hey, um, you mind holding it down for just a minute, man? So sorry. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. All right. All right. Be back. Uh, we'll, talk, we'll talk about uh, what we talk about. I mean, I like growing up watching basketball is more of like um, it was family pastime, but it was, it was something me and my dad would do. But uh, I'm, I'm, I've, I've, as I got older, I got into football more. I didn't, I didn't play a whole lot of football. I played the like junior high, but I didn't get into high school football at all. Um, and so watching, watching, uh, watching football nowadays is a little bit more, uh, um, uh, we'll see where they're going. Their contract situations too are silly, but football is kind of a different kind of sport. Um, depending on the rules, it might veer off what, how the outcomes of the score can be or by, by big plays or one play, but basketball is like a, a whole, you know, it's not just a whole bad game. I mean, not just a bad game for a few plays. It's like a whole bad game where football can be determined by like, I think maybe one play, where basketball is like a bunch of plays, uh, you know, we get you get uh, equal time with the ball possession. You know, you score, I score, you score, I score. You know, or you miss, I miss, you miss, I did. You know, stuff, stuff like that. But or this, you know, offensive rebounds. But not trying to get too technical. <laughs> but um, you know, playing uh, playing sports, um, uh, growing up with them, it, it's the way I like to de like a de stress. So it's a good way of me just uh, me. It's the hoop and the ball, and I just like to go and uh, unwind. I like to just go and. Uh, practice on my dribbles. I mean, I'm 37. Not, I'm not trying to like really do much. It's just more of a workout for me. And I like shooting, I like concentrating. You know, um, I can range. You know how my shots falling and how how I need to work on and adjust. <coughs> it's something you can you can work on right away. It's something you can figure out right away. By just by your shot, by your rhythm, by your practicing. And then uh, <coughs> if, you, if you guys ever check out my uh, my. Um, YouTube page. You'll see I have uh, a few of my basketball games on there. I was just I was just talking about how how I my, you know maybe my love for basketball, but just the fact that I play, you know, it's b ball and just it's my it's my de-stressor, man. It's my it's like we're like tomorrow morning and wake up and go shoot some hoops, just kind of you know unwind because it's been a been a pretty uh, busy week um, or a couple you know couple <coughs> weeks, but I'm I like it and <coughs> I have my my de-stressor with me. Um, there's a there's a actually there's just a, a school outside my house with a hoop. They have like four hoops, so and they get that that clunky ball that I have and put some air in it and shoot it. There I have I have a couple of basketballs. I have my gym basketball that you only use for the gym. Mm -hmm. I got my clunkster, my clunker that you can use uh, only outside, and then I got the kind of the hybrid one you can use outside inside. Preferably, I have that one now is outside, but um, you could actually go from having a really nice seventy five. Oh, I don't know how much it costs now, but you just buy like a seventy five dollar basketball, and you don't sit on them. You never sit on a basketball because it'll it'll freaking warp it. So hmm. you just you buy a seventy five dollar basketball. You play with it like two or three years in the gym, and it'll start tearing on you. And then you get you get oil it and take care of it, and that'll take forever. That's a gym gym ball. But if you just get it, and over time it starts losing its grip, then you start playing with it outside, and then it'll get the outside grip. So you could you could actually have a basketball for like eight years, and <laughs> you could have two wow. two functions with it. Um, I, I love I love it. It's like a, it's it's. A, I want to say there's like like I said there's a million people like me out there that would play basketball for free and just enjoy to be with like a team and a coach and just go through it again. But it's it's not it's not because people people won't pay for free basketball. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get that free basketball talent. They ain't gonna pay for that. And that's why I think if, if for the NBA for all the talent they're putting all this money in, like uh, you know the half court shooting is one thing. People these these little point guards shooting from half court. I, I get it. I, sh I I still shoot a bunch of three pointers, um, but you know I I get it. Um, but like. Um, that step back, allowing that traveling. Oh, and even the the LG when he 
becomes a, a, a avatar or a bot, whatever he becomes, when he becomes that, the first thing he does is travel. He he picks up the ball, he dr- he dribbles it, he dribbles it between his legs, and then he picks it up again, and then he walks. That's a freak of travel. The movie's not well, even PC. The movie's not even PC of the basketball game. Because you know why? Because they show there's a bunch of YouTube clips that you can see um, NBA players like getting away with like horrible calls, and LeBron James gets away with a bunch of them. Like they're just like, oh, that's a travel, but they don't call it, or that's out of bounds, but they don't call it, but. That's not really a foul, but we'll call it a foul. Sounds like that, but I mean, that's just him. That that video is just picking on LeBron James. There's tons of them that do it. There's the there's the the Russell Westbrook, the dude like um, picks up the ball at half court and just walks with it. They don't call it. Then he starts dribbling, and the and the the defender the defender's like, what is he doing? Like he can't do that. <laughs> then the 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 ref's like, I didn't see it. <laughs> he literally picks it up. Takes I think they called it like I mean they were quick steps, but he did like I don't know four or five quick steps. But it's like the guy's like he can't do that. Uh, did you, is the movie still, what part are you on the movie? Oh, um, where they're, they're playing, it's, uh, Granny just, uh, took out the Kronos. But yeah, man, what's how that? Is, how is Granny able to do that? Did she, she moves slower than Kronos? Yeah, or? yeah, cause she's really, she moves really slow. That's why. Is that what the whole thing is? Cause they, I'm like, uh, they, that, that wasn't very clear either. It just, yeah. I mean, also, but also, well, she was she was in the Matrix, so that 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 makes. Oh, tracks. that's true. But then, yeah. oh, because Speedy Gonzalez also does. That's true, and yeah. the Speedy Gonzalez was was very PC. I was uh, I was uh, happy about that. Very. Yeah. Well, at <laughs> least she <you> got him. <laughs> at least at least she got him as opposed to Pepe Le Pew, but. Dude, oh, he came out, didn't he? No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't in this one. He didn't. Have, he didn't have a cameo. Oh, no, he was in Space Jam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's he's uh he's dead. They uh they eighty six them. He's gone. Yep. Mm-hmm. Damn, sexual so harassment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's a, he's, um, he's like sexual harassment. HR and, is having uh, a problem with him on the set of Space Jam. Well, Space Jam. So, yep. they, so so they didn't bring him back. And they. Oh man, Pepe Le Pew. What if he got me too on the set? He probably did. Yeah, he's me too people. <laughs> uh, but uh, you ready to rate these bad boys? Yeah, let's go, man. Let's I, do I don't it. Really have much to talk. I, I could talk. I could talk a lot, but it seems like it's just kind of go the same thing. Um, all right. Well, let's see. IMDb out of 175,000 stars, you get six and a half out of 10 in the uh, IMDb rating for for Space Jam. What do you get in the Rotten Tomatoes? So Rotten Tomatoes, <clears throat> um, I have a 44% tomato meter, 82 reviews, and then a 63% audience score out of 250,000 reviews. Uh, so while it's no slam dunk, Space Jam's silly Looney Tunes laden slapstick and vivid animation will leave your younger viewers satisfied, though accompanied adults may be more annoyed than entertained. False. But that may because be because I was a kid when I watched it the first time. I don't know. Well, I didn't know when this review was written because I think maybe adults back then maybe I don't know. I think adults liked it though. I, I do too. I mean, when we watch it, there's a lot of dads who are happy and like moms are like, Oh, it's a good movie. Yeah. Let's see when this thing was written. Ah, these are all freaking current. I know. Nah, yeah. I, I was annoyed because uh, I didn't understand the references. All right, so let's go to Space James. Well, uh, 4.3 out of 10 with 25,000 views. And then, uh, yeah, out of 25, yeah, 4.3. All right. 4.3? 4.3. All right. So tomato meter score, I have a 31%. All right. With the audience score, I have an 81%. Right. Yeah. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I, I, All I, right. I hear. Sorry. Um, so, uh, like I said, tomato meter is 31% out of 167 reviews. Audience score is 81% out of 1,000 uh, ratings so far. Uh, the critics' consensus is going to be, despite LeBron James' best efforts to make a winning team out of the Toon Squad, Space Jam, a new legacy, trades the zany meta humor uh, of his predecessor for shameless tired exercise and IP driven branding. Branding, excuse me. And then audience says LeBron James probably won't win any acting awards, but this was this is an entertaining all ages movie with a solid animation, a positive message for kids, and fun cameos for older viewers. Older viewers, I guess that'd be us. Yeah, yeah. eighty one. I'm calling horse horse manure malarkey. Yeah. This is this is this is fake. That's not a 
It's not an 80. That's that's a thousand verified rating, CJ. This is Rotten Tomatoes. You yeah. know they're they're legit, okay? Yeah, I just saw I just saw a video the other day that they're posting on YouTube where they had no tomato meter scores and it had 44 on the audience. Now it's at 81. And it, that's the thing the digital can be manipulated so easy. It's not this is not an 80. What do you, what your, what's your score for Space Jam? Oh, it'll be like a uh probably a nine. Nine. nine ten. Yeah. I gave it a twelve, but then I'm like it's kind of a thirteen after I was just kind of looking over over the it's a, compared to the compared to um to from coming from basketball uh, players like a, a love for basketball and growing up loving it and just watching it now as an adult, it it's it's hilarious and it it's, it holds up. Um, you, I feel like it's more explanatory like nowadays like I've, i show it to my son he doesn't have to get all the references he can just kind of put put the pieces together in his head by just looking at it um yeah what uh would you have for space james uh i'm gonna give it an eight it's an eight it's not gonna be the best score did i enjoy it yeah do i kind of agree with the audience score that we just read you know does it you know I, I feel like it, it does the job of a movie. And I, I enjoyed it, man. It was a solid, it was a solid uh, time, uh, but an eight. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck between two and four. Oh, 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 oh damn! It, it was a. It started. You're gonna have to. You need to watch it again. No, I've, I've, I, well, I did see it twice. I was waiting I'm, for you. <laughs> like, um. Okay. All right. I'll tell you this. I'm watching it as just a movie. I, I, I can't even, I, as a filmmaker alone, I, I'm like, what the hell? Uh, as a basketball player, fan, whatever, I, I'm like, what the hell? Uh, yeah, dude, I started the score off with a four. Mm-hmm. And I said, it, it impress me. Get me out of this four score. What can you do? Let's, let's, what, what can you, how can you get me out of this four? And it stayed at a four. And I will say that when that montage hit, when the tunes, when they're getting the tunes packed, it got all the way to a seven. I even gave it a full point for the Speedy Gonzalez accurate cameo. Like, I gave it a full solid point. So I had it at a seven. At that point, I'm thinking, holy crap, this movie is going to change my opinion. It's going to go up to at least a nine. It'll get to, I will, don't, it will not be a ten. It will, I, I, at least I can get to a nine if it keeps going with the story. And it didn't. And it fell. And it let down. And it's, it's a bunch of crap together. Sorry. It, it, that's... That's what's coming out of me. It's a, it's a, it got to a four, and the ending just kept going three and a two. So I kind of stayed between a two and a four. If I want to be real, give it a two, three. Give it a, a three. No, it's an average out score. I'm, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell somebody that this is like when there's another movie out there that's just as uh, that's better, that's older, and I'm not gonna say that you that's a different time thing. It's a it's it's a movie. There's there's nothing to do. I mean, unless you like, if you unless you're someone my age or older, or maybe a little bit younger that was into the basketball, and you were actually were able to see. I, I mean, I feel like it, it actually ends with me because uh, I I remember watching him uh, play the Pacers, and then like in '98, and then watching the '96, and then that's about it. Like it's hard for me to remember before that because that's when I kind of got started into it. And not to mention, I did want to say I did see Derrick Rose live um, for the Chicago Bulls, and we were basically front row when they were playing the Spurs one time, and that guy was lightning speed. Like I, I couldn't. I it was just. It was so crazy. I was like, how do, how do people get like that? How is this athlete, how is this person, human being, able to just zip from one side to the next? And 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 I can't. I can't. I blink and he's gone. I wish he never got hurt. I wish that. Like I feel like that guy would have been able to like change the game uh, another level. But his injury, I feel, kind of kept. It had to keep. You have to keep basketball interesting because now there's so many things competing with it. And if you gotta keep, and you're, you're gonna go ahead and change the whole game and try to make it cool and tell me you're cool and by putting it, uh, stuff in my face without actually showing me that's cool, without like, actually showing me how it became cool, that's the thing. This movie's not cool, no matter how, how hard you try to tell me. And and it's 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 kind of product placement, if anything. It's very emotional. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a. I'm gonna go with two, man. A three would a three would be me kind of just settling, and I'm not gonna settle like. It's it's and, and I mean yes I'm a filmmaker could I make something better I don't know if I could make it I could try to write something but I don't know and I'm not gonna compare myself to the people that made this movie they made a movie and but it's like it, and it, it maybe it's not for me but at the same time I feel like it's supposed to be for someone like me yeah so I mean I play video games like I I, I watch cartoons I play basketball um, I'm not supposed to I mean I'm an adult and I have a son so. If I need to find some middle ground with him to watching this, it'd be really hard. It'd be easy for me to put Space Jam in and just let him watch it. Um, has Has he watched New Legacy yet? 
he liked a little bit of it, but uh, <laughs> but it was more the uh, what part did he watch? He, he watched the no the part that I the part that I liked because he saw the little um, like all the cartoon act acting up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was uh, so you know, um, but that's the only part he saw with me. He kind of was walking around the whole. He's playing with Plato. Plato now. Plato a Plato movie needs to be made. Mm-hmm. If we have Lego movie. We should have Plato movie. <laughs> and I think there's Gumby and Gumby, dude. I bought a a Gumby comic not too long ago, and it's it was made not too long ago. And Gumby even made a badass comic coming back. Hmm. And, 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 and uh, I like wh- what you said about reboot because a reboot makes a big difference than a, than a sequel. A sequel yeah. is, a, is a direct next happening of the the original. A reboot is like just flipping it around, like they say in Jane Silent Bob reboot. He explains everything. J- Jason Lee's character Brody explains everything to you what a reboot is. Yep. Um, I'm sorry if my score offended you, Ben. No, 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 it didn't offend me, and I'm honestly, I'm glad we finally come to this crosswords, cro- crosswords. <laughs> can't even say it right when we get here. Crossroads, crossroads whereas, yeah. uh, you no, know, like, I, I, I get where you're coming from. I, but I wouldn't score it that low. Uh, I, 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 was, was I entertained? I was not. Okay. I was. That's fine. I, I gotta say, I was. I, uh, okay, so I what, stuck out, what stuck out to you that was entertaining again? Yeah, I just, I like the Looney Tunes, if we're going to be real. Like, I just, I like watching them. Uh, the best that's, part, that's, and that's why, I mean, I went and saw uh, Looney Tunes back in action in theaters. Like, I, I really, I do enjoy Looney Tunes a whole bunch. Grew up with it, as did you, as did a lot of people. You know that and Scooby Doo, man, all the time. Um, yeah. And so, I don't know. I don't like. I said it may just be because I don't have any uh, real ties to any of these uh, people outside of hey, they're in this movie kind of thing. Maybe that's why I'm able to enjoy it a little bit more. I don't know. But um, I. Well, it like I said, it entertained me. I had a fun time. There are goofy parts, but I mean, there are goofy parts in Space Jam too. No, I think uh, Space Jam's all goofy. Yeah, yeah but you said it was you said it was serious earlier. What Space Jam? Yeah, well, it, mean, was, like, it was it was it was a movie. You know well, what I'm I mean, saying? Like no, I'm saying it's a movie, but I'm talking about the you're talking about the the tunes in the movie. Yeah. Oh I thought, yeah. I thought I thought they were I thought they because there's okay. No, you're you're there. saying they were loonier in. In Space Jam than they were in this one. I got it. Yeah, you're you're absolutely yeah, right. That, I'm yeah, I'm also saying because you don't really get a whole lot of them. They're they're kind of they're in there, but they're they're not really in there. Yeah, and I can see that too. Um, where it's more of a story about him and his son, and yeah. I mean, uh, I, I, I don't know. No, that's man. What I'm, 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 not, I'm not I'm not questioning you like that. I'm just kind of questioning in the sense like. I need to. I, you can think of a spot because I hear people like, like, well, like the gorilla. Like I was like, well, can you please specifically tell me what you like about it? And no one could tell me what they specifically liked about it. What I uh, okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna let you know. I'm always a sucker for a father son like oh uh, moment. Like you're gonna get a couple points out of me for that. I, I'm just. I'm just saying. More. More times than not, that's that's where I'm coming from. And I'm, I, and so am I, and I'm same way with best friends. But give me something to be like, oh, I can connect to that. I can't just because you tell me, oh, because I, I, I see somebody tell somebody, I love you, son. Like, show me, show me. How did you love him? How did you? Well, you just, you I know, see, like, and I, I kind of got that from the beginning. Is like he's trying to push his son towards a basketball, or you know, he's like, if you're going to be out here, you got to be out here. You know, you're not here to have fun, kind of thing. Like that's that's what I kind of picked up. So you have that little. Little adversity at the beginning, you know, and they're kind of button heads. Whereas the older son is, you know, he's out there practicing, doing his yeah. stuff, you know. So I, I, I did kind of get that. Like I, I got a little bit of connection there. Um, I'll, I'll tell you this though. Oh, we also have a uh, repeat offender. I just looked up Bill Farmer, Fog, 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 Foghorn Leghorn. And well, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, boy, get it out. No, I'll say. I just remember. Oh, hey, right. goof. <laughs> hey, hey, goof. I'll tell you this much, goof. Um, I it is a four. I just remembered why I put it down to a two, and then I, I jumped up to a four. When they deleted Bugs Bunny, it dropped, my score went down to a two. When they brought him back at the end, it went back up to a four. So it's a four. Okay. That's okay. what I did have. I did remember. I was like, why did I? I, I didn't. 
I didn't say it, but I go, no, because I, got, I remember I was like, why are you getting rid of Bugs? Especially when he wasn't like, like an uh, integral part of this movie. He's not, he, he, I didn't, there's no connection. So we just, he just, oh, it's just Bugs Bunny. He's just there, you know? Um, but, um, all right. Well, I think, uh, I think, I think my score of a four is going to offend everybody. Oh, but, no, I think, I think of there's, okay. So the Rotten Tomato score is, I mean, how new is this movie? In theaters, July 16th. And today is what? the Six days, yeah. Six days. All right. So eighty-one percent. That's no, no. You're absolutely right. That that its score is going to go down. Uh, it's it's definitely not going to be out Space Jam before the end of the day. Um, and even that, I think I may change my score to an eleven on Space Jam. Uh, just from you talking it up. To be quite honest with you. No, I mean, and, I just uh, well, because I I mean, I wasn't even like really talking it up. I was just talking about like what the things that I that I found that I could just see. Like I, I said, I, I really was trying to pull that. I, I mean, I did. I pulled that nostalgia. It kind of it kind of came out more in this episode than when I was watching it. But yeah. um, the thing is, it's just like just from a movie standpoint, and the, and and this, I guess, this review here that I was kind of going through the Rotten Tomatoes, and this gentleman here, uh, James Berardinelli. <laughs> It doesn't take long before New Legacy feels more like a two-hour commercial for the entire WB catalog than a movie in its own right. So that's another part where it's kind of like the product placement in this movie. If you want to go there, is it, that's maybe that's the thing that bothers me, or it's in my face. I just kind of. I like, mean, yeah, but Space Jam has the same quality to it. Not like this. This is hitting everything. Space Jam is like one dimension on that. On that. Well, like it's literally product placement, though, right? No, I mean, well, Space Jam, extreme. like it's you like, got, you you have like McDonald's and we're gonna go get you a Big Mac and Nike and all that yeah, other they, stuff. They have it there. You see the Air Jordans and all that, but it's not like this where you have all of it in front of your face. Like it's like, okay, I get what you're saying. All right, I sh- you all right? I shot you in the leg. It's, oh, you got shot in the leg. All right, I shot you in the leg ten times. Oh, you got shot in the leg. No, you got shot leg like, ten times. There's there's more things there. There's more damage there and i feel like not to call this a damaging thing but to, to compare it as in like <laughs> hey it's like why, why so much i i would have i would have preferred the, the the relationship grown show us the relationship of the son and father let it grow and then show the demise and the upbringing and then the swing of coming back and then there's a connection there but they don't really show that they're kind of like their own entities and throughout the whole thing i don't really get that they're close i could get that the brothers are close in the beginning and even that little bit that the the ball and he gets in the face every time that that was kind of like a joke. That's kind of I, I mean, it, as you watch the whole movie, you realize that's kind of the only time they really repeat a joke. There's no really jokes in this movie. Yeah, like, it's like you can't really make fun. You can't make fun of LeBron or he'll freaking cry or something because and and and, and Space Jam they make they, like you know they call the Michael Jordan Baldy and he goes what, you know he's a ball and then they make fun of they they take they take hits at Michael Jordan like a uh, um as in like he's like real Michael Jordan and LeBron and this one they just leave him alone. They don't really pick on him. That's he true. Kinda, he, he's just there. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's stuff like that. Like, why not? That, that, uh, you know, I did kind of hit on that. They were just praising him the whole time. King James, King James. Yeah, you, King. you did. You did. Exactly. It's just, yeah. just kind of like, to me, it, it, it's like, come on, make the movie. Make a movie. That's what we're here for. That's why you and I, we exist. We, we, we're not really trying to be cracked down on, on scores and they need to do this. We're just like, there's two dudes having a conversation. This is what they think. That's it. Yep. Um, if it, 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 we're not, we're not, we're not trying to go anywhere else. And if I don't know if you can uh, notice, but in my thumbnail there, before I take it down, I think you can see which movie I like better. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it is. <laughs> it's, it's more noticeable than Jennifer Love Hewitt's neck in yesterday's. Oh my goodness, that was I can't Jesus. believe that, I did, how long that went. Almost thirty years of being noticed. Or like I don't know, twenty five years. I just we just noticed that. I just noticed that. Like that's horrible. Uh, well. We've, uh, we're going through this. Where are we going now? Uh, I'm going I'm to take off the thumbnail. Let's, uh, let's get back to it. We're, we're ah, almost, oh, my God. We're almost, we're almost at two Oh, hours. my God. This, That's this what is... I look like? I've looked oh, like this the whole so time? You don't, you don't think that I feel happy that I get to wake up to this every morning? You don't think that makes me feel positive? That's why I'm able to do something? Thank God I don't wake up to this every morning. <laughs> I... I, I I look outside of this body. I'm not. I don't necessarily get like I go to the mirror, and I don't even look that long. I'm just the person that's that's here. The that's avatar. why I'm so surprised whenever I see myself. <laughs> I um, have no reflection, so I really I get trapped in the in the computer, but I can't see myself anywhere else. Oh my god! So are we gonna? Yeah. Are we, are we gonna go there since you brought it up? Are we gonna? Yeah, Bill to... Murray, is that what you're talking about, or I what? No, I think we're gonna. Are we gonna do no, it? Hell no, we're not doing that. 
we're not trying, gonna... Are we going to go to the crossroads? No. I, mean, the crossroads. I mean, we probably... I mean, with uh, hashtag in the conservatorship, uh, <laughs> we... I, I will say we I paid might... to watch this. I paid to watch this movie. Uh, we can, If we're going to do Britney Spears movies, we could do uh, Crossroads and what is it? Gold member? Is she in that? She's, the, know, she's at the beginning of one of them. Yeah, she's like uh, the robot, no? Yeah. Does she even have a... Uh, I, I don't know. That would be hard. Bill Murray would be a great one to go to. Um, you can do Garfield and Garfield 2, A Tale of Two Kitties. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't do that with Bill Murray. Come on. I think, uh, I don't, that's not what I know Bill for. Animation. Bill Murray, Breckin Meyer, Jennifer Love Hewitt. I mean, it's... Kind of a callback, a couple of callbacks right away. I mean, come on, dude. I'm, I'm just, telling you. Oh my god, Crossroads got a 3.6 on IMDb. I am upset. About that. What did Garfield tell to Kitty's kid? Uh, it, it probably <laughs> got better score. Um, no, nah. look, look at what, what Bill Murray's known for uh, Lost in Translation 2003, Rushmore 1998, Moonrise Kingdom 2012, The Life Auto, uh, uh, Aquatic with Steve Zeese. Uh, I don't know. Zizu. Zizu. So that's 2004. These are not, there's there's only one in the 90s and nothing in the 80s in the 70s. It's like holy crap! Like he's got. Oh yeah, dude. He had like a renaissance in the early 2000s Damn. with uh with Wes Anderson. Yeah. Well, was it, is, it, is it the same movie or is it? Oh, so we got to pick. What do you want to do? What do we want to do? Are we gonna are we gonna do Bill Murray? Do you want to do Ghostbusters and something else, or do you want to do well? What do you want to this? I I would like to see a Bill Murray role that's outside of Bill Murray, but hmm. Garfield got a five on IMDb and right. two tails. Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? I just saw you Garfield two tails. Oh, the tail two kitties. I got a five. They both got fives. But I don't. I don't want to. Oh, do well. that. That, that'd be a waste no. of the show, and it'd be a waste of Bill Murray. Oh, that's, that's that's a terrible thing to say. That would totally be a waste of Bill Murray. We're we're not going to introduce people on side by side of Bill Murray on Garfield. He's he's way more than that. I would do meatballs. I'd go all the way back there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Um, you want to do, do you want to do a sports movie again? I think we should go Bill Murray. I just don't know where Bill we Murray? should go. I mean, all right. So, I mean, oh, there's this, uh, the Razor's Edge is a freaking. I haven't seen it, but it's supposed to be a like crazy ass like what was was 1984? Yeah, he he had everything and wanted nothing. He learned that the they he had nothing and wanted everything. He saved the world and then it shattered. The path is enlightened. It is as sharp and narrow as a razor's edge. Apparently, this movie is supposed to be like out there. It's like, it's like a thinker. It's two hours and four and eight minutes from 1984. Well, let's see here. This is supposed to be. I do. I wouldn't mind. Did you did, did you know that uh, he played Hunter S. Thompson as well? And which movie? Uh, it's called Where the Buffalo Roam. I have not seen. What year? Uh, it's gonna be like late seventies, early eighties. Late seventies. Let's see where's he at. Here we go. Nineteen eighty. Hunter S. Thompson. Dude, I would totally watch this. And it has uh. Let's see here. Yeah, Peter Boyle's in it as well. Uh, Brown Kirby. Oh, dude, I have never seen this movie. These are two old school Bill Murray movies. I and you haven't I've seen, seen you haven't seen Razor's Edge? No, I haven't. I just recently heard about it not too long ago. Oh. Dude, should we do no, let's do War of the Buffalo Rome and and uh and uh Fear of Loathing in Las Vegas. You wanna do that? Let's do let's do dude, let's do the the Hunter S. Thompson comparison. Alright. I'm down. You down? I'm down. Yeah, I'm, do I'm down like a. I'm down like a clown try. I'm down like a clown try. I'm, I'm, I'm down I'll like do a clap, clap, clap. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. Well, we were doing Bill Murray. Let's get these things uploaded real quick. So we're gonna do for the Buffalo Rome. Uh, it's a 1980 rated R, one hour 39 minutes. Uh, Semi biographical film based on the experience of Gonzo journalist uh, Hunter S. Thompson. That is awesome, man. I was. 
I don't know if you're not a f- I'm, I think might have heard this movie before. F- yeah, let's f- let's do the other one real quick. Let's look it up. Uh, well, I guess not. Here we go. Sorry about that. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, 1998, rated R, one hour, 58 minutes. An oddball journalist and his uh, psych- psychopathic lawyer p- uh, travel to Las Vegas for a series of psychedelic uh, escapades. It's also a Terry Gilliam movie. Dude, this is awesome. This, this, this is going to be awesome. Right? Exactly. Oh, dude. I We're going to have a good time. With well, these thank you, everybody, movies. for joining us for Side by Side. Uh, we're logging off. We almost made it two hours. Not bad, dude. We got there. I, was, I thought we were going to be like an hour, but we got we, we got there. We got there. All we right. did it. We're there. Everybody, this is, we're, we're, we're starting our day off. And like I said, I love waking up to that mug over there. So <laughs> I'll see you. As, as do I. I. I love waking <laughs> up and seeing my face this first thing in the morning. It's beautiful. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a good one.